Yes. How dare you, Ebuka? How dare you obstruct this day? Disrupt my daughter's wedding, Ebuka. And why shouldn't I? I turn my back for a moment and you dare give my woman away to another man. This was not our agreement. What nonsense agreement did we make, Ebuka? Will you take away your useless body out of this compound this minute or I will be you forced will to... what? I am not scared of you. I am the son of the wither tree that has refused to become one with death by the gods. Chief Amichi, I do not need to remind you that in my hands lie the ability to open up this earth to stand on this instant and it will swallow every living creature that stands in the way of my being with Ugoma. You know that. Ugoma! Come back here! 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 Come we do not have to start like this. You made me a promise. Why this sudden change? My law, who is this young man? And what is the meaning of this? My law, I think he has lost his mind. You think I've lost my mind? Ugama, I want my wife! Stop it! Stop it! Ugama, I want my wife! Leave me alone! Ugama, leave me! Ugama! Ugama! And you! Ugama! Ugama! It is only the stubborn fly that follows a corpse to the grave. My daughter Ugoma will never marry you. Is it by force? Michi, is this how you repay me after all I've done for your family? You're a big liar. You promised me. Get down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My law, what do we do to him? A man such as this should not be allowed to live. He is dangerous and could become a thorn in the flesh with his evil charms. Do what is right. You just heard my in-law. We cannot let him leave. Do it quickly and dispose him where no one will find him. Do you understand? Do it. Should we use a knife? No, I prefer to use a stick. I put into your dialect. No, 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 no. I prefer strangling. Let's go. Stop. Ah! <laughs> I have been betrayed, <laughs> beaten, like a dog I have been treated, dragged in the mud like a thief. They have taken everything away from me, yet give nothing. Not even that which they promised. I have suffered. I have lost everything. No, you have not. Son of the mountain lion, you are loved by the gods 
and for their betrayal, they will know no peace. For each and every drop of tears that draw from your eyes, they will now find happiness. For every finger that inflicts pain in you, calamity shall be upon them. For till market days from now, their souls shall be marked for sorrow. If they do not return what is yours, then death they have claimed. Make a move. Mary, what is the meaning of this? Are you blind? Imagine, Mary. Can't you see you kicked our buckets? Yeah. Oh, you girls are trying to show yourselves, Abby. You're trying to show yourselves. Mary, what nonsense are you saying? Can't you use apologize for what you did? Well, just look at you. Hey. hey, so if I apologize to you girls now, you will accept it. You're not well. You know what? I'm in a hurry. I'm going somewhere. Eh? So I don't have time for this today. But I can promise you that we'll do this another time. I promise three of you combined beating. Eh? Non refundable flogging. Three of you. It's a promise. It's the next time we meet. Eh? So don't be in a hurry. Just relax. Girls, this Mary's issue is getting out of hand this year. This girl has no respect for anybody. That girl is really growing wings. I think it's time someone should teach her a lesson in this village. I agree with you. And come to think of it, who even wants to associate with that girl, with her poverty stricken parents? Imagine Rubbish. Mary. Mary! Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Girls, leave Mary, oh! <laughs> leave Mary, oh! <laughs> I don't want her trouble. Remember what she did to Stella and her sister? I don't want to be a victim, oh! Stop talking like a coward. I can see you, man. Who is Mary? That is Stella, and not me. Hey. And if she's too strong to beat one person, can she beat the three of us? Can she? No. Okay. You beat me, stay. Stay and fight Mary. I don't want that problem. Yeah, I'm going to beat her. Stay, okay, fight so Mary. Hey. My friend, she's so fair. You're the one that I hate. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. Ah, Mary Magdalene. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord, sir. Oh, this one you are here in our place. Is everything all right? Uh, yes, yeah, so. In fact, uh, I want to see Amaka. Is she in? No, she's not. Of course she's in. Just go in and check her. She should be in there or somewhere around the backyard. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I am not comfortable with this girl's visit. Eh? Mary has never paid her daughter a visit before. Why now all of a sudden? Woman, you are always so so sensitive about about Mary, you this. And insult me like this, beat up my daughter. Papa, I'm sorry, yo. I did not mean to insult you. I did not come here to insult you either. This your daughter is very disrespectful. And the next time you disrespect my family, I will make sure you eat all the grass in this village. Nonsense. If you want to find me next time, you know where to find me. You see what I told you? You see what I told you? I am not coming with, with her. Did you have any problem with her before? Huh? What kind of problem? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Next time.
<laughs> Chichi, we meet again. Mary, please go away. I don't have your time. As you can see, I'm busy here. Well, me, I have the hey, time. Come here, repeat that thing that you said again. Hey, leave me alone. Repeat that thing that you said again before I remove your eyes. Okay. So you've come for a fight? Yes. You've come to fight back? Yes. Oh. I said you don't have respect. I said it. Do you think I cannot say it? You cannot do anything. I am not afraid to say it. <laughs> We, the Council of Elders, have decided to find you for being so ruthless and without regard and respect for anyone. Now tell us, how can you enter into another person's company, drag out his daughter in his presence, and then beat her to the point of passing out? How? You even made them eat grass. Do you want to kill them? Elders. The worst of it is, she will not stop, even when I try to restrict her. Rather, she pushed me off. Ah, that's a lie, yo. I did not push you down. All I did was beat up your child. She even threatened to beat my husband and I, eh, and feed us with grass and sand. He's a lie, yo. This one is a very big lie. Ah, ah. The only thing I did was to beat, beat your daughter. Ah, at least she's my age mate. Shut up there, Mary. One more word from your mouth, and you'll be sorry. Papa, why are they lying against me? But you're never one. Shut up your mouth. I descend on you. Sorry, please. We will deal with her when we get some beacon. Beacon on my name. Papa Mary. Mama Mary. Your daughter has turned herself into a terrorist in this village. And every child speaks of her like some evil who will eat up a, a, a newborn baby if given the chance. And that we will not allow. Your daughter has caused these two families enough pain. And you have to refund every couple they have spent paying hospital bills. You will pay the hospital bills and a fine of 10,000 naira. Thank you. For causing all this elder to come out here to deliberate on this matter. Oh, here. Where will that one come from? You are asking. You should have known before going out to cause problem all around for your poor parents. Please tell us the total money you spent at the hospital. We bought two pints of blood, hey! two liters of drip, and some antibiotics. Save our time. Just go straight to the total bill. Okay. After buying all those things, we still had to pay the doctor for his services. Uh, everything totaled up to 22,000 Naira. Enuge, you are lamenting. When your daughter was inflicting damages on her daughter, I also lamented. So you, you, you see how it feels now? Uh, Papa Mark, is that all? No, not exactly. Not exactly. Um, yes, I did not add the money we, we spent in going to the hospital so many times. Even the money she, we used in giving her food. Leave that for now. Yes, elders, we have to be lenient with her poor parents. Um, Mama Chichi, how much did you spend on your daughter's treatment? Hmm. Ma is not much. 
It's only 6,800 naira. And that money I had to borrow from my neighbor at the market. Well, that is okay. Uh, Papa and Mama Mary, you've had it. So what do you have to say? Uh, my elders, I agree to you. As you all know, if it were when I used to be myself, these bills are nothing to me. But as God wants it, things are no longer the same. My family and I can hardly go through three square meals a day. And yet, your daughter possesses the strength of up to ten men going about beating people. Eh? It's your business, so you have Mama, to pay. Be quiet there. You only speak when you are asked to. So you shut up, or we give you a fine. <clears throat> My elders, I know how it feels for somebody's daughter to have something like this happen to her. My daughter is still young and yet to understand the deep meaning of what she did. Please, do not punish us so hard. Temper justice with mercy. Help me plead with these two families. We don't have such money to pay, please. Um, you have spoken well. Please be seated. Thank you. Papa Maka, Mama Chichi, you have heard the plea of the family. Chima here, we all know, is not rude or arrogant. Thank you. I plead with you, please, have pity on him and his family. Please. So, does it mean I will not get my money back? No, you will. You will get half of your money. Half of your 22,000 naira. Why Mama Chechi here will get half of her own? And the elders will be paid 5,000 naira only. That's making everything almost 20,000 naira. Hey, it's not going to work. Oh. Why will my parents get that kind of money to pay? Huh? Mary, Mary, become a chair and shut your mouth. I'm not going to shut up. I, I cannot keep quiet and be allowing people to, to be spoiling our family name. After all, this girl w went about saying bad, bad things about my parents. So she was talking about you and Papa. Well, why shouldn't I beat her up? She has more to talk at the day. I don't even beat her enough for her to be to, to have been taken. Mary, shut up here yeah. and get away from here. Eh? You people can you can sell anything you want to sell or sell it. No problem. You people have just rightly right. This is justice. Pay one hour and you see if I will not beat you every day of your life. I will beat you and I will see you get tired. Go and sell, sell your rappers and pay. Mary, did, did, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So she will continue to beat my daughter. Huh? Elders, you had her. She wants to kill my daughter. Okay, no problem. I don't need the money again. Chichi. Uh, Mama Chichi. Chichi. Please, Mama Chichi, come back. We will we, we, we revisit the issue. Why do you do it? Do what, Mama? Beat people up and feed them with sand and grass. See, Mama, if somebody finds it very easy to insult and ridicule the name of this family, ha, me, I will not find it difficult to beat that person and disgrace the person publicly, too. But must they eat sand? Yes, so. I do not know. Hmm. <laughs> ha. Very funny. My dear, but please, you need to stop the fighting. Oh? Hmm? Mama, this one was not my fault. Eh? Can you imagine that, Amaka? Opening that her mouth to say that Papa's wealth is no more because Papa was doing money rituals. And that Papa will remain poor all his life if he does not sacrifice one of his family members. She said all that. Mama, this one is all hearsay. Oh. I heard it with my own two ears. Hey. And then when I ran after her, she took off to her house. I couldn't wait. I had to go and drag her outside for her to come and pay for her evil. Ajanonu. Um, my daughter, if one doesn't understand you, one would think you are being nothing. But all the same, you need to stop fighting. You are now a woman. Soon, suitors will start asking for your hand in marriage. So and fighting is not a good reputation. When you say suitors, you mean me getting married? Yes. Oh, Mama, I'm not ready for that one yet. Oh. 
You don't have a choice. It's just natural. You see, you are my only child. You are now 27 years old. You're supposed to be in a man's house now. Please, you need to stop fighting. Okay? Leave fighting for men. Your own is to make them comfortable. Just like I'm doing for your father. Hmm? Why the smile? Remember nothing. Come on. I am your mother. Is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, I don't know, Mama. I think that I like someone. Really? Who is he? Francis. Francis? Francis is from a good home. Has he asked you? Yes, he has, Mama. I don't want him to think that I'm desperate. No. If he has asked you, I won't go against it. Mm. Yes. But the only thing I will tell you is, be careful not to do anything with him. He has to come and do the right things first before you getting involved with him. Wait, Mama, are you talking about him touching me? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he can't try it though. He cannot try it because he knows if he tries that one, me, I'll just beat him up. Mary Mum, beat someone that wants to marry you? Mama, I'm only joking. You better be joking. You better be joking. Hey, Mama, um, I want to go and see Francis. I will not stay long. Please don't stay out late. Your father will soon be back. I will. Thank you. Be a good girl. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Mary, Mary, you scared me. You scared? Wait, so I thought you said nothing scares you. Well, I, I did. But but actually you came from behind, so I wasn't expecting you. Uh -huh. mm, uh, <laughs> if I were, I wouldn't be scared. Yeah. Anyway, you're late. Oh. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. My mother wanted me to help her with some chores at home. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So, I have been waiting patiently for you. Do I get a hug? Which hug? There's no hug. Why? No hug. Until you become my husband, I won't allow you to touch me. Uh, but everybody knows that you're going to be my wife. I know. Until then, now, when you've come to do all the right things, then I'll now give you everything. But until then, no touch. So I won't even get a small hug? No, not even baby hug. Okay, okay, okay. I agree. So, how did it go with your parents and the elders? Hey! Those elders are wicked. Mean! Do you believe that they want my parents to pay fine? Yeah, I knew they were going to say that. They're always looking for an opportunity to cheat people. Wait, let me even gist you. Hey! Do you know that uh, Amaka's father? Is now claiming that he had to take Amaka to the hospital. That he had to buy blood and uh, drip to get Amaka well. Wait, did you beat her that much? Ha! How? I didn't know. If I'd beaten her that much, would she, would, she, would she still be alive? I only just gave her sand and grass to eat. Liar. That man is a big liar. I'm telling you. When did giving sand and grass suddenly make people lose blood that they need to, to replenish the blood and also get drip? drip? The man is claiming that he spent 22,000 naira. Hey, on what? To uh, uh, treat Amaka. Even uh, Chichi's mother. Mm. That one is claiming she spent 6,800 naira. Hey, and then as if that was not enough, the elders now put their own 5,000 naira as fine. Wait. Seriously? Where do they expect your parents to get all this money from? Ha! Me, 
I have told them that if my parents try to to pay that money, eh, I will wake up in the morning. I will go to Ambaka's house and teach us and wait for them. I will make sure I beat them. I will beat out that to the two thousand naira from their body. Mm -hmm. Wait, you did not say that to the other. I said it. Huh? Yes, so. <laughs> Agunab. Agunab. Aja no no. Wom. Wom. It's no time. Hmm. I've not seen Mary since I returned from work. I sent her on an errand. Mm. Hope you're enjoying the food. Yes. The soup is very good. I paid some of the money the elders billed us. You did? Yes. How? I mean, where did you get the money? I had to pull it out from my market money. Oh my God. Why did you do it? What is now left in the shop? If I didn't do it, where else would I get the money from? Or do you prefer we walk around the town being labelled debtors? You know what it will incur if we don't pay. It will attract interest, and that could be frustrating. Hmm. Why? Why are you crying? Nothing. I'm okay. You are not. Look at you. If you don't tell me the problem, I'll stop eating. It's just that, at times, I feel responsible for what's happening to us. <laughs> My dear, stop. It's all right. I've told you times without number to stop thinking like this. This was meant to be. It's neither your fault nor mine. I'm just tired of all this poverty episode. I'm just tired. For over 20 years, we've been living like this. We can't eat food with desire. We can't even buy new clothes. Living from hand to mouth. When will this stop? When? When will it stop? <laughs> it's, it's all right, my dear. It's all right. Huh? I know. Yes, very soon, it will be all right. We will be free from all this, eh? But before then, you need to talk to your daughter to stop beating up people's children. If she were to be a boy, that I will understand. But she is not. Yes, she does things like boys. Huh? Wow, before she kiss somebody and we have to buy a coffin. God forbid, it is not our portion. Amen. You have to warn her or I will use force on her. Maybe. Relax, darling. Relax. Why are you being so naive? What's the meaning of that? Eh? So you, you just come to my father's house and you want to come and start doing nonsense with me? Does it mean that you don't even have any respect for my parent? You know I love you. Eh? Oh, so because you love me, you now want me to open my legs for you to start doing nonsense inside? Look, it's just that I, I have respect for you. If not for the, the respect I have for you, I would have really fought you this afternoon. <laughs> I know you will not do that. I know you love me. Hmm? Hmm? Don't touch me, Joe. Oh yeah, go. Wait. Go now. Okay, okay, I'll go. But are we still meeting at our usual spot? I don't know. Just go. Go. Go to your house. Relax now. Mary Magdalene. 
<laughs> we are good now. Wait, wait. I've, I've had. It's okay, go. Yo, Mama. Welcome, Mama. I'll try, Mama. Good afternoon, Mama. Welcome. Yes, Mama. Uh, Mama, he was just going when you came. Yes, I, I actually I I came over to give her uh, something. I understand. Okay. I understand. I send my greetings to your parents. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Okay. Um, Mama, I thought that you went to the market to buy things. I saw my friend the bear on the way. He said the daughter could do that for me, and I gave her money. She do that for me. Okay. Is there anything the matter? I saw that look on your face when I arrived. No. Mama, you just came and, and then he was leaving when you came. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want to buy? I'm not seeing anything that we are selling here. Where are the wheelbarrows and the other building materials I saw on the notice outside? Oh, they are my big shop. Eh. And my boys are bringing them. Eh. Eh? Oh. Eh. Okay, just don't worry. Eh? Give me the list of what you want to buy so that I can bring them for you at affordable prices. I hope you have all of them. Yes. Is there any other thing? No, 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 no. Just the one on the list. Just sit down here and wait for me. Let me go and bring them. Oh? No problem. I'm coming. It's the right. first now. All right. I was about coming to your shop to see you. Really? Yes. So that means you have my money? Actually, no. I don't. I wanted to come and see you to ask you to give me more time. More time, you said? Added to the three months you've sold my goods and you've not returned my money. What are you saying? In Nancy, there is a customer in my shop. She wants to buy some materials. I am sure I will make some gains and then come and pay. Do you still have anything in this store that you can sell? So you intend to go, bro, so that you said to her. In I calm down now. Calm down. I don't want her to hear your voice. And why should I? Lower your voice. Why should I? I don't want her to hear your voice. Mister? If you don't have any goods to sell in this your store, better lock it up and go and look for something else to do. Maybe join these barrel pushers, mix cement. It fits you if you don't know. Call on me. Don't touch me. Hello. What is going on here? What is happening here? Madam, yes. listen to me and listen good. You're looking for building materials to buy? Exactly. So far as I'm concerned, this man has nothing to sell to you. Are, are you blind? He's an empty shop. But he said he has them at his big store. Yes, I have everything in my big shop. Which stupid yes. store? He has no other store than this. He wants to play on your intelligence. So, Oga, this is what you do, eh? No. I just wanted to help you get them. You want to help me bring them? Yes, sir. Mr. Helper, why won't you give me my list? Hey! Madam, hey. I want to buy building materials. Hey. Just go to shops, B60. Hey. They have whatever you're looking for. Stop there. My God will bless you. Bless you, more. Hmm? My God will bless you. Thank bless you so much. You said the B60? B60, there? yeah, B60. I hope it's not far from no, here. No, just a uh, stone hey. throw down the road. Hey! Let's go there. Hey, man. But that is your shop that you just directly have. And so? Hey, man. I wanted to come to your shop and purchase those materials. And make some money for myself. Hey, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know about this. But let me tell you. I give you just two days to come up with my money. Or else, I'll make this life a living hell for you. And uh, this is unfair. I don't care. In fact, don't even try to come and collect any more materials from my store. Because I'm not ready to give it to you. You bloody dead. I will shame you in front of everybody. For them to know what you're doing. Let me tell you. You are cursed if you don't know. Stupid man.
My sister, you know how it is with my family. It's not been easy. Hmm. I even heard you had to pay Chichi and Amaka's parents fines on the injuries uh, Mary inflicted on their daughters. My dear, I don't know what to do with Mary again. But do you know the elders didn't help matters? They say we had to pay for their sitting. Hmm? They did? They did. These people have no pity at all. Not at all. But what do you intend to do now? I think you need to start up a trade to help yourself and the family and to ease up uh, the stress from your husband, to ease him from pressure. My dear, I thought about that severally. What do I do? Where will I get the money? Where? I don't mind even if it's a little. I don't mind, but where will I get? Hmm? I can understand. But the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. I have to go now. There's nobody in my shop. My dear, I'm so sorry I didn't offer you anything. No, I I'm understand. Sorry. When my husband comes, I'll let him know that you came. Let me see if you can raise anything so I can pay part of my debt. You don't need to worry yourself about all that. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. You're a nice person. It's all right. Thank you, eh? God bless you. She's very nice. Auntie, good afternoon. Mary Magdalene. Auntie Jesus is Lord. Of course he is. How are you? Auntie, I'm fine now. Good, fine. Mm, hey, Mary, please. Biko, you must stop engaging yourself in fights. Hmm? It's about your parents. You know how things are with them. Hmm? Don't allow them to use money meant for upkeep of the family to be used to pay fines. Huh? You're no more a child or a girl. You're now a full-grown woman. Hmm? And you must start thinking as such. Use your time to do better things. Hmm? Please, stop fighting. Okay? Zibong. Now, take. Take this. Buy yourself whatever you want. And thank you. Yeah. God bless you. Be a good girl. Hmm? Mary Magdalene. Jesus is love. Be a good girl. Thank huh? you. I just saw your friend. Yes, she just left. Uh, she... She gave me this money. She gave you? Yes. Hi. I will thank her when I see her. She's truly understanding. Huh. Mama, I thought you said you were owing her some money. I am owing her. I've been buying food stuff from her. And I'm yet to pay. Yet, she still dashed me money. Ada is a very kind woman. She has a very kind heart. God will really bless her for me. Amen. Amen.
What is it? She forgot you. Good morning. No. Sit up. We need to talk. Is there any problem? Yes. What is it? I am tired of this poverty stricken life we are living. I don't think I can last one more year on earth if it continues like this. Nay, why are you talking like this? God has chosen a path for us. And I believe the same God will free us from all this problem. Bikonu, bikonu nai. You don't understand. I don't think that God has a hand in our being poor. How can we be living like scavengers amongst my kinsmen? Do you realize that if I had not built this house earlier, that we would have been homeless now? I thank God you did. We have shelter. Now, nice. so long as we have shelter, every other thing will fall in place, oh? Words of comfort. <laughs> That's why I love you. You never cease to comfort my spirit whenever I am overwhelmed by grief. Thank you. Mm. But ma, let's face it. Mary, our daughter, has gone through secondary school years ago. She went to train as a seamstress because we couldn't afford to send her to university and stay at home because we cannot even afford to buy her a sewing needle, not to talk of machine, for her to start her work. Hi. Yes, no. Our daughter knows our financial problem. She's not a child. Hmm? She deserves a better life. Yes, we all deserve it. Our God will not forsake us. Oh, no. Please go back to sleep. Oh, no. See, gentlemen, what's the problem? Just hold it right there, Mr. Detor. The two days I gave you has expired. And I added one extra week on top. So where is my money? Hey, Naya, why are you acting like where this? Where is my eh? money? Why are you acting like this? I thought I came and begged you to give me until month's end. Eh? I should be able to pay. Give it to you when? End of the month? Yes. Why not ask me to give it to you next year so that you can pay up? You a foolish man. Boys! Pack all that is left of you and let's get out of here. No, 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 come on. You are a stupid man. You are a fool. You don't know. Put him up, sissy. Stop up. Put him here. Put him down here. Deal with him. Deal with him. Put him up. Deal with him. Deal with him. Deal with him. Put him up. Put him up. Because of money. Why? I tried to beg him. He said he asked his boys to beat me up. They took away everything. All the goods in my shop. I have nothing again to sell. Jesus is Lord. Papa, what happened? Were you in an accident? 
accident? No, but does he in there? He has his boys to beat me up. Eh? Because I couldn't pay him the money I am owing him. What? Look at me. Look at me. They want to kill my husband. The only thing I have, they want to kill him for me. Look at me. Wait, Papa, was it that there was nobody with you when, when this was happening? Was there nobody around? No one showed up. They all hit me. They want me dead. Mary! Mama! Mary! Mama! 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 Oh, this guy better you with. She will go down to my this thing. Oh. Hey, no, yeah. You got your gun out. I like that, like that, like that. Well, please, please, please. Who that guy? Who that guy? Who that guy? It's married to him. I have not even sat down. Don't tell me to stop. Give me a second. To be honest with you, Eina, what you have done is wrong. How can you go to a man's shop, beat him up, and loot all the goods in the shop just because he owes you money? No. I learned that all the goods you took away from that shop is worth more than 120,000 naira, and you had to seize them all because of 40,000 naira. No, it is not fair. Hey man, you had your boys beat up a man, almost killing him. You took all the goods in his shop, knowing fully well that that is his only means of income. How do you want him to survive with his family? You took laws into your hands by manhandling him. Now you come to complain that his son, I mean his daughter, came to your shop to, 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 to fight you. You are lucky. She's only but a girl. If it's a boy, the case would have been different. Mary, that's why the fact that you can be stubborn. I agree with you on this one. Because there's no true son of a father that will watch a man beat up his father and not retaliate. Just that you acted on impulse. And I'm not angry with you that much. Because my own son will do more if I had beat the one. You can see that it is not only the male child that defends the family when the head of the family is old and too weak to fight. Women do too. Mary, you have done well. The only thing is that you acted childishly. You should have reported the case to us elders and the case would have been against Aina in total. Aina, do you have anything to say before we pass our final judgment? My others, I thank you all for attending this urgent matter. Please, I don't have much to say. But you should help me to talk to Mary, to stop attacking me anywhere she sees me, please. You're talking rubbish. I will keep attacking you until I have broken all your ribs. You broke my father's ribs. I won't rest until I've broken yours. Hey, 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 Mary, you don't have to do that anymore. Since we elders have come into this matter. Then let him return my father's goods. Hey, 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 no problem. I will return. Just please don't attack me anymore. Please. 
It's okay, Mary. Mama, you we don't... No, no, no. We just have to take Elder's word. You don't understand. Eh? Papa can barely work on his own without support. How do we feed when he cannot go and sell? How are we going to survive? Ah. Elders, Mary has just made a very vital point here. Hey, in there, you can hear and feel the gas burn. He almost succeeded in ruining their source of survival by condemning their father to a permanent wheelchair. My elders, frankly speaking, I didn't know it would result to this. But please, help me beg the family. I'm willing to forget whatever amount he's owing me. I'll return his goods and, and pay his hospital bills. Please, just help me out. Please. Hey, Yenna, you have spoken well, but you know we Eda cannot gather for nothing. Both family will pay a fine for this our sitting. Um, 10,000 Naira. Eh? 10,000? Where, where is that one going to come from? Please, we don't have money, Elders. Uh, not to worry, I'll take care of that. It's not 20,000 Naira. I'll, I'll, I'll pay. Please, just help me, you know, beggar. Well, less that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That's, that's what you want. That's good. That's looking well. You've spoken well. If she beats you and does not give you sand and grass to eat, then it's not complete. And that is why she always says, Ajanonu. Um. And that's why I love my girl. She does not take nonsense from anybody. Odogu. Yeah. Do you intend to marry that girl? Yes. Why do you ask? <clears throat> Can you control her? I mean, knowing fully where she's strong and can, like she did her um, womb, well, any day. Put down, put down. <laughs> you see, Mary, uh -huh. I taught her every fighting skill she's using. I personally taught her. And she also knows now, if she tries any rubbish, I'll just give her left hand. Mm -hmm. Aju. Yes. And what are you boys gossiping about? Um, um actually we were uh, mm. uh, praising you like. based on your exploits in the market. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, Mary. Mary, you are very good too. You are very good. You're a good fighter. You're a very good fighter. I mean, you, you should have come to this world being a boy, not a girl. That one is not my fault too. In fact, I like being a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Stop praising her. I will praise her myself. <laughs> How are you? I cooked some kukuyam for you people, so for you and your friends, in appreciation for the help people gave to me at the market the other day. Uh, uh. You, you, you shouldn't have ordered. Eh? Yeah. Mm, it's not necessary. Okay, it's not too late. I'll just take it home. No, Okay, I want to I'll see you later. Okay. She, you had the girl. She brought it for us, you and your friends. Husband, wife, friends. <laughs> Mary, where are you coming from? I thought you were in the kitchen with your mother. Um, Papa, I went to my friend's house to give him some of the cocoa yam. What? We don't even have enough to eat. Yet you dish the little we have out to your friends. Why did you do that? I've not even paid for the cocoa. Mama, I'm sorry. I thought it was the only way to show appreciation to Francis for helping me in the market. Who is, who is Francis? Who's Francis? It's my friend. You keep uh, my friend? <laughs> Papa, you know now. Me, I don't know how to. I don't keep female friends. Then you would have come into the world, being born a boy. You do things like boys. 
Papa, why are you always saying these things, eh? Am I not doing well as a girl? You are, my dear. In fact, I adore you. Hmm? Now, go inside. I've dished your food already. Okay, thank you, Mama. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. Why can't you make this girl to be comfortable? Have I said I don't like her sex? I never complain. I only... I know. She has done more than a boy can do. Remember she fought for you. You remember? Uh, I remember. She reminds me of my youthful age. I was a good wrestler, you know. Mm hmm. Now I know where she got this her fighting instinct. It's from you. Well, well, uh, you may say she got it from me. And the good heart. She got that too from you. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? My rib. Uh, it jumps when I laughed. Then stop laughing. You can be serious. I can someone laugh. <laughs> don't laugh, please, don't laugh. Sorry. Sorry. Mama Mary, I've had enough of this your story and I don't need it anymore. Today you give me my money. Ah uh ah. -uh. Since two weeks now, since you came to my shop and purchased food stuff, since then you've been avoiding me. Take it easy. It's not that I am avoiding you. And it's not that I don't want to pay you your money. But please, my husband has been sick. Please. And how is that my business? Mama Mary, just go inside there and get me my money. I didn't come here to play. Oh. Okay. Please, give me till tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Oh, my sister. I am not living here without my money. Huh? So just give me my money. Oh. Today, today. What's going on here? Why this ranting? I purchased food items from her on credit. That's why she's here. Over two weeks now, and she has been avoiding me. So now I'm here, I need my money. <sighs> All right. How much is the money? 515 naira. No! I purchased food items worth 420. So you didn't know it would generate interest when you delay paying me my money. My money is 550 naira. Nkechi, this is unfair. Uh -huh. That's my son. It's unfair. Mm. Uh, Mamere, it's all right. I think I still have some change with me. I have 320 naira. Yeah. Uh, you will take it. I will send Mary to bring the balance to you when she returns. Make sure you send her, or as when I come back, I'll create a scene. Date us. Go and tell poverty to free you people from bondage, you. God damn. Ah, uh, Ma. Are you. It's okay. You've always told me not to give up the struggle. Uh, I think uh, we need to seek knowledge on these our issues. Knowledge? Yes. How do you mean? We have to find out what actually is our problem. Because uh, uh, somebody or something is behind it. It's no longer ordinary. And I want to put a final stop to it. Oh, let's go inside. You're right. The gods say your problems are not ordinary. I knew it. Please, tell us what is the cause or who is behind all our misfortunes. Your wife here has a secret 
that she has to tell you. Secret? I don't have any secret to. Are you saying that the girls are lying? And she has a secret that she has to tell you. And it's only when she tells you, it will be an open door to your success. Ma, you heard what the Dibia said. So tell me, which secret you have? Let us do away with this curse upon us. I've told you, I have no secret. I've kept nothing away from you. But you were there. You heard him. It's not like you weren't there. You heard the man say it. So tell me the secret you are keeping away from me. Or are you a witch? No, I am not a witch. Shukuma, I am not a witch. I said I am not. What kind of silly question is that? Eh, Chukuma? Then why is our misfortune being linked to you? Eh? There should be something deep about it. Tell me the secret so we solve this together. I have no secret. And I've kept nothing away from you. Ma, come back here. Ma, come back here. I said, come back! I've not finished with you yet. So you, you chased the boy into the room and saw people dressed in white. There were nine of them. They didn't say a word. But they all looked so scary. Hmm. So what happened to the boy? I don't know. He, he changed into something... I can't even explain it. Francis, me, I'm worried though. I've never had this kind of dream in my whole life. Listen, it, it's nothing. It's just a dream, okay? Trust me. You think so? I know so. You know what? Why don't we forget about dreams and nightmares and talk about us? Me, I'm worried. I'm worried though. Huh? Besides, it's getting late. My parents will be wondering where I am. I guess I'll come back. We'll talk about those tomorrow. Good night.
Don't you think you are being unfair with your decision? What decision? Your decision not to tell me what you are keeping away from me. Why are you not believing me? I've told you time with that number. Over and over again, I have not been hiding anything. I have no secret. My wife, there is no need to be stubborn about this. Eh? I promise you I won't get angry or upset with you. Even if it is the worst thing you have ever done. There is nothing the eyes have not seen under the sun. Chupuma. Chupuma. What sort of thing is this? Why accuse me of something I know nothing about? Eh? Nobody is accusing you. You are accusing me. You said I have secrets. That I am hiding from something from you. And I've told you time without number that I'm not hiding anything. In fact, Chukuma, if you have something you want to confess, go ahead and confess it and let me be. Oh, okay, this is it. Hey, two sitting here. Confess. Let me be. Confess, Biko. Can you do on what they think? Men's league. My brother, it's been over a year since you last visited this house. You don't even want to check how I am doing with my family. Um, Jed, I'm sorry about that. I've not been myself for some time now. You should at least send a message once in a while. You are the only family I have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Huh? Okay. It's okay. You're welcome. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Just go really big. <laughs> yeah, good <you> care of that. <laughs> oh, I am trying. Um, okay. Brother, you don't look so good. What brings you? Yes. I have problems. Things are getting worse for me by the day. Let's go home. Why? Don't you like it here? It's not like I don't like it. It's, it's just that me and you, this place. Mm. Anything can happen. <laughs> Mary Magdalene. So you're scared of being alone with me? Hmm? It's not as if mm. I don't trust you. Mm. It's just that mm. I don't understand my body again. Mm. Well, your body is telling you to come close to me. Kiss me. And let me teach you how to be a woman. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> mm? No, no. Ma. 
<laughs> so you don't want to confess? Ma, you don't want to confess? That's why the Bibias warning that you must confess the secret to me before our daughter turns 30. Ma, we have no time. We don't have time. Tell me what secret you are keeping away from me. Chukuma, leave me alone, oh, leave me alone, oh, Chukuma, leave me, oh, leave me alone. You have no secret to confess, well? You don't have any secret to confess. <coughs> All right. Mm. Okay, so, so, okay so, so stop, stop, stop. It's okay. It's okay. Why? I don't want to do it again. But I won't. Francis, so you want to do something like this to me in, in this bush? What is wrong with this place? Nobody would know. Hmm? Come. <laughs> no, I don't want Francis. Francis, stop, stop. Out! Don't try this kind of rubbish with me again, no. Francis. 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 What is it? Somebody help me! Somebody help! Hey! Somebody help me! 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 Somebody This is a savage. 
Satan. How could he do something so evil? We can't say for sure, but he has found a motive for judgment. I don't believe my brother could do this. He can be stubborn sometimes, but not to the extent of killing his wife. He loved that woman. This is terrible. An album. Yes. They need to be buried. And very soon. Yes, I understand the tradition of our people. Does not allow the immediate burial of corpses of such. Please, my elders. What are the items needed for the burial of these corpses to be found? This is an issue of murder and the suicide. They have to. Go through cleansing before the edge will accept their cops. All different disasters and calamities will befall this town. If we don't want this such to happen. No. We don't want such to happen. Every detail of the ritual must be adhered to. Please, Chiedike, read out the items for the ritual. <coughs> These items are required for each cause. Seven white feathered cocks, seven white feathered pigeons, seven gallons of palm oil, seven arigote pepe, seven coconut, seven white arapas, seven guinea fowls, and seven cows. My idols. Where is she going to get the money from? And these items are to be doubled, which means that we will require at least one million naira or more. Where is she going to get the money from? Are you asking us? Are we the ones who ask her parents to kill themselves? Well, uh, men, stop crying and think of a possible way to raise money for the items. Where? How? You all know my parents died. Will the money suddenly surface now that they are dead? Where will it come from? Mary, you need not know yourself. Your father's brother here will assist you. Assist with what? My scrotum? Chinedu. What about other members of your family? Can't they assist? As if you don't know that it's only I and my late brother that were left. The rest died one after the other, after the death of our father. You all are no strangers to our family history. So why the pretense? Why? Well, Jinedu, as it stands right now, there's not much we can do. These items must be 
my days before they can be buried. Yes. And we have spoken. If you had listened to me years before night coma, all this wouldn't have happened. Now see what you have brought upon your family. No. Hi. What do you want? Francis, I have come to see you. For what? Francis, my parents died in one day. And you haven't even come to see me. See you. See you for what? So that you can finish me off. Huh? So that you can finish me off. Look, I don't want to have anything to do with you again. So just leave me alone. Francis, please. Don't say it. Don't talk like that. I have no one else. Francis, please, I beg you. I need help. Please. Help? Okay. Uh... You have not buried your parents. No, I haven't. So, where do I come in? Am I your husband? Am I your husband? Am I related to you in any way? Am I a member of your family? Eh? If you want help, go far away, far away and look for help. Leave me alone now. Mary. Do you know I love you? Uh, well, I know. Small. So you know? Mm. Okay. So tell me, sincerely, why don't you let me touch you? But you touch me now. I mean, touch you, touch you. you know. Oh, 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 wait. You mean sex? Yes. Mm. Anyway, I told you that I was not ready. I want to go back to school. Besides, I don't even want to do it until I am married. So I have to wait till we're married. You said you want to marry me, right? Yes. Uh -huh. You go and see my parents. 
Well, I, I, I want to, but look, I am not ready. You, you, you know, before we get married, I should be a bit comfortable so I can take care of us. You see? See why I said you have to wait? We both have to wait. That's what you've been saying for over a year now. You should wait. For how long? Okay. Maybe by my next birthday. Maybe, or your next birthday. <laughs> okay, by my next birthday. And when is that? It's in two months' time. Hey, baby, my yoke. Oh, 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 baby, my yoke. Wait, oh. wait. <laughs> wait, so all this, all this enjoy, uh, rejoicing now is for one thing? Mm, one thing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> one thing. Now imagine. Mary Magdalene and Francis Ukebu. No, Mary, my darling. Hey! So all these names now, because of this one thing, no? One thing. One thing. Can I hug you now? No, no, stay one, please. Okay, bring your hand. Hey, Jehovah. I'm touching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kiss. No, no kiss. It's from this kissing now, you now want to be touching. <laughs> Baby Maggie. <laughs> Francis. Francis, do you hate me this much? I should be asking you that question if you hate me that much. If you hate me so much that you had to use juju on me. You almost killed me. Francis. Francis, that was an accident. Francis, you know I would never hurt you. I never used any to do on you, Francis. I would not. Liar. 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 Why are you lying? You think I'm such a child that I do not know when Juju is used on me? Juju that you used on me like a bolt of fire that hit my soul. Now you have come back for part two so that you can finish what you started. It will not work. Please, just go away. Please, I beg of you. Leave me alone. I didn't come near you. Francis, eh? please don't. No, please, I beg you. Look, look if not for anything, I would have just carried you and thrown you up. But I don't want to come near you. Go. Oh, go now, go now. Is it my force? Go now. Go to your house now. Yeah. Go, go, go. Thank you, go. Go! Native doctor. Juju. Principality. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Mary, have you eaten? Let me get you food now. Hmm, Auntie, I've not eaten. But that is the least of my problems right now. Auntie, it's been four days. Four days since my parents died. There's, there's no preparation whatsoever towards their burial. Eh? I don't have any money. The demands of the elders, according to tradition, considering how my parents died, are too high. Auntie, I don't know what to do. I'm just tired and I'm just frustrated. If I tell you that I don't know what you're talking about, I lie. I do. The truth is, there's no money everywhere. Two months back, I had to bury my mother. Just last two weeks, I paid my daughter's school fees. I am yet to recover from all that. I understand you. But how about your uncle? What effort is he making? I don't know. I want to believe that there's also running around trying to raise money. He himself is broke. He doesn't have any money. It's okay, Mary. The women will be having their meeting this evening. I'll see what we can do to raise money amongst ourselves. Auntie, thank you very much. It's God okay. bless you. Thank you. God will reward you a thousand times. It's okay. Thank you. Don't worry. Your mother was a very good friend of mine. And a good woman at that. 
Thank you, Auntie. Don't worry, Mary. Thank you. Just hold on, I'm coming. Auntie, thank you. Please, use it to buy yourself food. Okay? God bless you, Auntie. It's okay. Thank you. It's thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, please. I hope all is well, Mary. Uncle, all is not well. My parents come and seem like they unattended to. Uncle, please. Uncle, help me. You are the only family I know, please. I cannot keep alive. My parents come to like them, please. <sighs> Mary, your God sees me. There is nothing I have not done to raise money. But no one wants to borrow me. I've even tried selling the only plot of land I have in the bush. But they say it is too deep into the bush. They don't want it. There is nothing I have anybody wants. But Unai, there must be a way out of this. Eh? Can't the elder do something to reduce the demand? It is just too much. It is too much. Right. Almost a million naira to perform the ritual on two of them. <laughs> Where do we get the money from? Oh God, oh God, please help me. Please help me. Oh <laughs> Mary, please, please stop crying, oh? Come on, surely make your way out of this. When? When is it when they are all decayed? When will God help me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the truth about it is the sooner we get started with that land, the better. Because once the rains come, it might be difficult to get people who would want to work on it. So it's better for us that way. Uh, that's just what I think. Um, Francis, hmm? is that not your girl, Mary, coming over from there? Oh boy, oh boy, pretend, pretend, pretend. Pretend you can't see her, pretend. Why? She no longer your girlfriend. Don't you, what kind of foolish question is that? Are you the only one in this village who does not know she's walking around with a curse? Or how else do you explain the fact that her father killed her mother and then killed himself by committing suicide? Look, avoid her. And to add to it, you almost lost your life with her. Carl, is the way God will bless you. The way God will bless you. Look. She is carrying a curse. Avoid her. Francis. Guys, she's gone. Cursed demon, witch, principality, Guys. native doctor. Francis. What? Don't you think we're being too hard on her? She's still our friend now. Hey, hey. Tochuku. Tochuku. That girl is a curse. Leave her alone. You will, you will die, you. You will die, you. Okay. I even hear her parents are yet to be buried. Buried how? For how long? How? Hey, yeah. So they are still in the mortuary. Oh, God, do Mortuary. In your dreams. They are still in the house. You lie, Kalis. You lie. I mean, how can they possibly still be in that house after they died? They will smell now. Uh, Tochuku. Traditionally, when an abomination like this is committed, 
their corpses cannot be put in the mortuary with other corpses until all the traditional spiritual rites have been completed. If not, they will stay in that house for as long as possible. Simple. Yeah, so she keeps them in the house. Hmm. Oh. See, I even hear she goes from one place to another, one compound, one family to another, looking forward to borrow money from. Hey. Chai. But doesn't she have a family? Hey. This guy is asking questions. What about? Tochuku. Tochuku. I swear if I had known you wanted to ask me these questions, I would have stopped Mary and pushed you to her so that you can ask her all these stupid mumu questions you are asking me now. Oh boy, you don't irritate me. Man, I don't lie you with all these kind of mumu mumu questions. No, no, no. I beg you. You never reach like No, if you want to date her now, date. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. She's not far. I'll go and meet her. Ask you asking stupid questions. Guys, you never reach like that now. Mama, Papa, I can't get help anywhere. Hmm? How do I explain this? But I couldn't wear my parents. I let them rot in this room. God, why? What is that sin that I committed that you pay me back like this? Why don't you just kill me? Just kill me! Kill me, oh! Just kill me. <laughs> this place stinks. That is Mary's parents oozing. She herself smells like the cops. You both are mad. Since you do not know how to mind your business. Who is she? Is she talking to us? Don't you know her? Mary the smelling cops. It is you who is a smelling cops. And who are you, by the way? We are your worst nights, man. To buy melon and um sorry this ones are not for sale please try someone else madam but this is not for sale now nah. 
Madam, just... I said don't touch it. Go somewhere else, Biko. I said don't touch it. Look on the mobile. Good morning, Wong. Uh, please, I want to buy melon and red oil. Sell to who? Are you not Mary? Mary Magdalene, as they call you. Yes, I am. Mba, I won't sell to you. Leave my shop. Leave my shop with your cost money. I don't want trouble. Oh, why? Eh? Are we quarreling? I only just came here to buy something now. Do you, do, have I offended you in any way? Mary, when you finish talking, you leave my shop. I will not sell you. Why, 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 it's not, it's, do you know me from anywhere? If I now sell, let me now sell for myself. You call me a bad person, no. Why will you sell for yourself? Is this your shop? Leave my shop with your customer. I don't want trouble. Leave my shop. Carry your customer and be walking about everywhere. Is it by force to sell to you? Excuse me. Uh, please, I'm lost. I'm looking for direction. Me too, I'm lost. I'm also looking for directions. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, please. I'm actually looking for direction. I'm not trying to take advantage of you. Um, kindly um, tell me where uh, Ebuka's land is, somewhere um, near a river. Uh, the Afo River? Yes, precisely Afo River. Yeah. That place is not a place I can just describe for you to go. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in the next village. So you need to go and look for somebody that will take you there. Or you just turn back and go home. <laughs> no, I must be there today, really. Eh, hey, go now. Uh, no, okay, better still, why don't you be my guide? What? Me? Your guide? Yes. Yeah. So I want a customer to sit close to him. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I, I don't understand what you meant by that, please. Okay, nothing. I just said that I am not interested. I find somebody else that will take you there. I'm going home, oh? I'll pay. I'll pay for the service, yes. Eh. How much? How much do you want to pay? How much do you want? Eh, I, one million. One million naira. Please don't be ridiculous. Okay, I'll pay you a thousand naira for every mile we drive. You're sure? Yes. Okay, um, should I walk and I'll be directing you or? Of course, I don't expect you to walk while I drive. Please come in. You pay. Oh. You take the next turn right. You don't talk much, do you? Well, my name is Tony. What's yours? I don't have a name. All right, Miss. I don't have a name. Are you a native of this village? I, I don't mind getting acquainted with you, you know. Huh. I'm not interested. 
See, let me just tell you something. Not because I'm in this car just to show you direction that you think you can you can sweet talk me into bed as you as you do with the other girls that you flash your wealth at. Hey, 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 come on, come on, please, please slow down. I didn't mean to offend you, really. And you know, it's just a kind gesture, that's it. Keep it to yourself. I'm not interested. I'm just here to guide you. I'm not one of those girls that you can flash your wealth at and they'll come they'll, they'll just follow you to bed. Please take the next turning before you go and drive us off the cliff. Can you imagine? Uh, the land starts from this palm tree here and goes right, it, it's all, you know, from here to, till that um, pathway that we cross to this other side. Uh -huh. The whole of this place is his land. And then the river, you were asking of, is just across this land now. That's where the Afro River is. Pay me my money. I want to go. Three thousand now for three miles. Okay, thank you. Um, one more thing, please. Um, uh, I can't find my way back. Yeah, I need guardians, really. But are you daft? How can you tell me that the road I just brought you from, just right now, to this place, you can't find your way back? <laughs> As a matter of fact, no, really. That's the favor I need from you. Or oh, is this another trick that you're using to lure me into your moto? So you start another round of brainwashing? On the contrary, nothing like that really. You see, it's been a long time I left this village, you know, so I'm here, you know, to invest. I, I want to build a filling station, you know, yeah. Huh? Yes. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, wait, oh. Why, why are these rich people always very... I don't, they cannot reason at all. They are very empty. So you want to build a filling station here? Yes. Inside this village? Yes. Hmm. Let me even ask you. On our way to this place, how many cars did you see? So instead of you to go to the express, where there are so many undeveloped lands there, and there are motorists plying that road morning, afternoon and night, that would see you and patronize and buy your fur. You want to come inside this village where nobody will buy from you. Oh, it's all right. You're very smart, you know. I never thought of that. You're smart. Thank you. Uh, please, please, please. Really, I need guardians to go back. Hey, hey li listen, listen, brother. My name is not Guardian Angel. Okay? I am not giving you any, any other guardians. I'm going. But just take my advice. Don't build any filling station on this land. Go to the express, all those undeveloped land, get one and build filling station. There you find motorists that will buy your fuel for you. So that tomorrow now you now come and say that uh, this village and the people who live here are cursed and are witches. And that is why your filling station has not progressed. Mary, Mary, hope you've not been starving yourself. How were you? I'm fine, Auntie. Nobody wants to sell me any food ingredient in the market again. Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. I understand. 
But we, 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 we need to look for an alternative way of buying food. I will buy it myself and bring it to you. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Hmm. What is that smell? It's from inside. They have started smelling. I'm sure the elders will be happy about this. Because it seems like this is just what they want. Mm -mm. That stench is too much for you, Mary. And you sleep in there? How do I have a choice? Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. I have no other choice but to stay in here with them. After all, they're still my parents. But it's not healthy for you. You can fall sick. Hmm? And, and die. Will that not be what everybody wants? At least if I die, all these problems will be over. Mary, please don't talk like that. Don't talk like someone that has given up hope. And they have given up hope. I am helpless here. I am confused. I don't know what to do. There is no way of raising money. Nobody wants to help. Please. Okay, please. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Mary. Uncle. Good afternoon, sir. Who are these men? Um, I brought them to help do some local environment so as to slow the decay, giving us more time to search for money. Come with me. Okay, sir. At least something is being done. Hmm? Don't cry. I have something for you. We were able to raise some money yesterday from the women's meeting. Here, it's 30,000 Naira. I know it won't be enough, but at least... Let's go bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, Jan, Jan, Madam, I want to buy uh, okra, pepper, and um, crayfish. Mary, Mary, please, sorry, I'm not selling. You can try somewhere else. It's not like I came to buy your goods on credit. I have money here with me. Even with that, I am not selling. Try somewhere else. Why would you not sell? Oh, because you think I'm cost Abby? I haven't said so. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Since you will not sell, don't worry. I will sell for myself. Mary, leave my shop for me. Mary, leave my shop. Mary, leave my shop. Come, come and stop me selling. now. Come and leave stop me. Leave my shop, Mary. Come and Mary, stop me. Mary, leave my shop. I am not selling. Like leave my shop for me, Mary. I said I'm not selling. Leave my shop, Mary. Never so. Mary, leave my shop for me. I am not selling. Mary, leave my shop for me. I'm not selling. Look at your money. It's complete. I don't want. Take your money. So even want. my money is cost. Mm, I don't want. Hey. Okay, thank you very much leave for the shop. gift. Eh? Leave my shop, thank Mary. Eh, I forgot. Mary, leave, leave my shop for me. Leave my shop. Never, so never. Mm -hmm. Mary, leave my shop for me now. Eh? Have you missed your way again? No, I haven't. I did ask questions and they said I could meet you up here. Well, thank you for the advice you gave me the other day. You did save me. 
What advice? Yeah, with regards to the choice of land to buy for my filling station. Oh, did you eventually buy the one on the express? Yes, I did. Ah, good for you. Uh, I'll be on my way. Uh, please, 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 please. Where are you headed? Um, let me drop you off. Don't worry, I'll be fine. No, please, please. Uh, let me show my appreciation for the good advice you gave me, please. You don't give up, do you? No, I don't. So please, can I drop you off? Please? Can I put my bag in the boot? Uh, the back seat would be better. She should have allowed me to open the door for you. Uh -huh. Open the boots. Let me remove my boots. Let me remove my boots. Well, not until you have given me audience. Are you, are you seizing my things? No, I'm not. But I know for sure if I give your stuff to you, you wouldn't talk to me again. Oh, so you think you can keep my things or seize my things and then force me to talk to you? Mr. Man, let, let, let me just tell you. I have my own problems. I don't want any extra problem from anybody. Now open this car, let me remove my bag. Otherwise you will not know you will not understand what I'll do to you. I'm going to scatter this car and scatter you go and ask people. I don't play like that at all. You don't need to get aggressive, really, okay? Alright, I just want to get to know you. That's it. Okay, for starters, my name is Tony. I'm from the neighboring village and um can we have a handshake? Ah, oh, please. What is this now? Okay, you want to know me? Fine. My name is Mary. I am the one everybody in this village refers to as the cost girl. And this is where I live. Now, can you open the car? Let me take my bag. Or you want me to start des redesigning this car for you? I know for sure you don't mean what you said with regards to you being cursed, okay? Um, do you live here with your parents? Yeah. What kind of exam question is this one? Give me my bag. Let me go. Yes, I live with my parents. Okay. Um, can I get to meet them? Your parents, yeah. You see, I want to make our friendship much more comfortable to you and to them. I mean, they know you're of age and uh, you should have male friends. <laughs> hey, Mary. You have suffered. Mm. You want to meet my parents? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Hi. It's alright. <laughs> no problem. Mm. Bring my bag from inside your car. Uh, yeah. Let's go and meet my parents. Great, great, great. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's go. Let me have the bag just in case you become very much in a hurry to leave. What's that smell? Oh, the smell. Mm. Sometimes they produce this kind of smells, you know, once in a while. Mm. Hey, but don't allow them to see you cover your nose. Though. They might get very upset and send you away. Just pretend like the smell is nice. Mm. Eh? Let's see my parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, where are they? Um, they are inside, they are resting. Okay. Come on, let's go. Uh, are, you, are you sure? Don't worry. They are inside. Come with me.
If the heavens will fall, let it fall! I have to wear my parents. I have to wear my parents. Any which way, I'll please. bury them. Mary, wait, wait, wait. There will be consequences. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, I'm have to wear my parents. I have to wear my parents. No, I know, but parents. not like this. Uncle, no, stop. I have to wear my parents. Stop before somebody will see you. Stop. Uncle. Stop. I go have the house. to bury my parents. I know. Go inside the house before somebody will see you. Go, go, go. Go, go, go! Mary, we were lucky nobody saw us covering the hole. But as long as the cops is still intact inside the house, they will have nothing to say. Mary, do you believe my brother, your father, actually killed his wife, your mother? I don't even know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to believe anymore. Some people say that they saw them with the knife. But if actually he killed her, why would he, why would he kill himself as well? Well, um, there is a lot we don't know. A week before that terrible incident, your father visited me in my house and complained about your mother. What did he complain about my mother? He said that your mother and himself went to seek for answers to all the troubles that have been coming their way, and they got an answer. Did they say that my mother was responsible for all the predicaments they were going through? Or, or, or did, they, did they label her a witch? No, no. He said that uh, the man asked your mother to confess to some secret to him before you turn 30. Or there will be problems beyond what they are already facing. Uh, she chose not to confess to him. So, he killed her? Oh God! Oh God! But what secrets could my mother could have possibly been keeping? She didn't say. She chose to die with it. I'm sorry, Mary. My brother didn't kill your mother. They were both doomed by time to something greater. But only your mother knew this. And she chose to die with it. Uh, Mary, I think I will be going now. Uh, at least let me... Let me get off this this clothes. I, I will come back to check on you when I'm well rested. Okay?
Please, please. I beg of you. I, I didn't do anything. Please don't let them take my, my parents' guns. I beg of you, please. Please help me. Please. Give us some time, please. We'll get all the items requested. We'll get it ready. Be gone. Oh. No need. The process has started. What? Elders, please don't do this. Because, because. What is wrong with you people? Is this not what you wanted? We are at the verge of cleansing so that you can lay your parents to rest. And you want to stop us? I, I, I don't understand. We, we don't I, understand. It has all been settled. The whole items have been bought. Hey. Huh? Look at me. Oh. But, 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 by, by who? Your friend. Oh, you didn't know this? I don't, I don't, I don't have any friends. Mary, <laughs> who is that young man standing over there? Or oh, don't you know him? You. You. God no. no, bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Stop this. 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 Stop you know I have not really thanked you enough. What could we have done without you? Uh, please, Uncle, it's nothing. It's nothing really. I mean, I did what I thought was best for Mary here. I mean, it's hard to know that her parents' cops were lying in the house unattended. I did ask questions and, you know, got educated as to what really happened. I couldn't have turned my back on her, so I did what was right, help her. I don't know how to thank you enough. I don't know how to say thank you. For all the shame you took away from me. For everything that you have done. I don't even think I can ever pay you back. Or I can even ever say thank you enough. I just want to say that my God will bless you. Amen, amen, amen. Mary, Mary, Mary please, please. I mean, you have been thanking me for too long now. The important thing is that you're happy again. Oh, I'm so glad all these things are over. If not for anything, at least my husband cannot sleep very well. Thank you so much, Brother Tony. Uh, please, Madam, stop there. I mean, what's this Brother Tony thing? You're beginning to embarrass me, really. Don't blame us. We are just too happy. Eh? Mama Emeka, go and get me that wine that I bought so that Tony can take it home. Uh, uh, please, 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 Madam, not to worry. I don't take alcohol. Okay. Um, okay, if you insist. I insist, and I have to be on my way now, sir. Okay, uh, Mary. Uncle. Uh, go and escort your friend, eh? Eh. Uh. Alright, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think he's going to ask Mary to marry him. Eh. Uh -huh. uh, well, I don't think she will say no. She's old enough. Her mates already has two kids in their home. You know Mary now, eh? she prefers jumping around the village thinking she's a boy. You know her now. I don't think she will be saying no. She also likes him. Don't you see the look in her face when she's talking to him? Hey, Papa Emek, I saw you notice too. Hey! Do you think I'm too old or too blind to know when love is in the air? Hey, Papa Emek! Hey! <laughs> Yeah, um, I like to have this. What is this? Yeah. But what do I need this for? Come on, it's just a little token. I want you to take care of yourself. Okay, get yourself some new clothes. You know, you know, get yourself. Good cream, perfume, new pair of slippers, and uh, you know, I want you to look good until I return from my trip. Your, your trip? Uh, are you traveling? Yeah, I'll be going to South Africa, then Malaysia, then back to South Africa again. That will take you over a year? Nah, nah, nah two, three weeks max. No, what? What? No, 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 no. You told me you weren't going to cry again. No. 
I'm not crying. I'm, I'm sorry. Then stay happy. All right? I want you to be happy. Now, on a happy note, okay? I know for sure we didn't uh, start on a proper note. So, um, I want us to start on a happy note this time around. You know, introduction to start with. Okay. My name is Mary. Okay. My name is Tony. I'm from the neighboring village, like I told you. And, um, you know, I'm a very direct person. I like to hit the nail on the head. And hitting the nail on the head, I like you. And um, I would want you to be my wife and I your husband. Um, is that a yes or no? <laughs> of course. I'd like to marry you. You marry me? Yes. You marry me? Come here. I'm so happy and I'll take care of you. I promise. I would have been so mad if you hadn't asked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you seen Mary of Ladies? Hi! You see? Have you seen Mary lately? Oga? Okay. Where you they bring up all these questions where you they normally ask? See Mary for what? Huh? We are here discussing on how our lives will get better. And you are bringing up talks about one cost girl. You do like us. Oh boy, I'll kill me. Hmm? I have it. You know, ever since she buried her parents, me never see him. So I say, make I ask her. No, I don't see him. I don't do bad. Simple now. Ah. Maybe she decided to lock up herself in the house and not come out. Why? Why she go lock herself up? Shame. Mm -hmm. eh? uh -huh. She's ashamed. Shame. Shame. Uh, come on, guys. How did she manage to raise money? You know, and pay for the rituals. I'm sure she went to borrow. Who cares? Hey! Francis is here. Who tell you that one? Well, I had uh, some good guy from uh, abroad pay the bills. <laughs> you know, you myself is here. Liar. Liar, liar. Which guy? Who wants to associate himself with that cursed family? Who? Tell me now. Hmm. No man. No man on this earth can risk paying such money. At all. No man. It can't happen. So, Tochiku, Apukodakuko, leave story for my man. It can't happen. Okay, you know the building where you dropped me? Okay, I'm right behind it. I'm standing on that one tree. Just come down. I'm in a hurry. Alright. Lala, la, it can't happen. Happen. Guys, 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 guys. Ooh, guys, guys, guys. Oh, boy, you know, I see that girl. Check out that beautiful girl. They come our way. Oh, Chimo. Oh, boy. That's my kind of girl, though. Hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Francis just stayed here. I saw this girl first. I saw her first. Okay, you saw her first. Now is a talent. Now, talent, don't you have a girlfriend? So? Uh -huh, I have a girlfriend, so who said I can't have to? Uh, you see, check out this girl. She's more beautiful, more prettier than my girl. So don't blame me for wanting us. Nice. I'm gonna slow down now. It's too often I won't begin fight over a person I don't know. <laughs> she could be married already, you know. <laughs> you know what that means. Lawyer mm Ibama, -hmm. uh, <laughs> when I need you to advise me, <laughs> you, <are> me. <laughs> you advise me. But on this one, I'm coming. Ah, Let Francis. me buy something. I'm coming. Francis, mm -hmm. I'm coming. you finally move. So you get closer. <laughs> Hello, sister. Um, 
Can I talk to you for one minute? Lord of Jesus. Mary Magdalene. Jesus is Lord. Mary, Mary Magdalene. <laughs> My friend, stop behaving like a castrated monkey. Francis, what do you want? No, I, I, I didn't know it was you. Obviously. Well, now you know. Would you still want to talk to me? Mary, the cursed girl. Francis, have you suddenly gone dumb? Or you swallowed your tongue? Our, Our Mary! Oh, shut up, you Our Mary! No, I'm, I'm sorry. If I'd known it was you, I would not have. So next time, do not ever think of trying to stop me. If you do, you will regret it. Stupid fool. Where are you? I'm here, madam. Where's the car? The car is over there. Yes, how may I help you? Hey! Hey, Uncle, please. Don't tell me you don't recognize me. Am I supposed to? Uncle, it's me, Mary Magdalene. Chineke! Mary! <laughs> Uncle. Mary, are you... Uh, Uncle, it's me! Good gracious. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Just this few months in Lagos. Uncle is God, though. Eh? Tony is so good to me. Yes, it's written all over you. I can see it with my eyes. <laughs> Please, let's sit down. Uh, let's come, come, come on. Where is that um, She has gone to the market to buy some food items. Yeah. She will soon be back. Okay. Hey, Uncle. Hmm? How have you been? I am fine. Please, Mary, just tell me all about this in Lagos. I will <laughs> tell you everything. <laughs> Hey! Eh? Nemu! Mm. Holy Mother of Christ! Mm -hmm. Do you know if I had passed you on the way, I wouldn't have recognized you? Are you oh. serious? Hey! <laughs> Mary Mandaline! Auntie, Jesus is Lord, oh. Hey! <laughs> my goodness! Look at how beautiful you have suddenly become! <laughs> I thought it was my eyes that were deceiving me. <laughs> eh? Hey? Do you know this boy has really done well? He has really taken care of you. Just look at you, Mary. Auntie Tony is very nice. Hey! He takes very good care of me. Uh, Honestly. Sure, sure, sure. Hey. As a matter of fact, he bought clothes for you and Papa. Eh? Uh, he bought clothes for me? Yes, so. Eh? Who am I now? Uh, eh? Auntie, you're very important too. Eh? <laughs> hey! Thank yeah. you very much, in the moon. Look how beautiful you are. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Do you know what? Let me go in and prepare something for you to eat for then I will come back and sit down and talk. Oh? <laughs> eh? oh. Uh -huh. You better make it that your special Ofo Nubu. Ah, uh, uh, now you know what I can do now, eh? <laughs> eh? I want to go to my father's house. I'm sure he would need some cleaning. Uh, Mary, that will be after the meal because she will accompany you to help you, eh? Okay. Mm. Wait, oh, wait. Have you seen Mary's special car? Look at how big it is. Hey! Mary's car, Uncle oh, Sam, my car is one of uh, Tony's car. Eh? <laughs> now, what belongs to Tony belongs to you. It's also your you. car. Then, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, I forget to mention, Tony and I are going to get married. Eh? Uh, you mean a date has already been chosen? Yes, yeah, so hey! next month. Oh, that's very good. Hey, I am now very happy. Eh? In that case, um, that will give me some time. To raise some money to support Uncle, you. Uncle, you don't need to raise any money. Uh, Tony is very comfortable. 
Eh, as a matter of fact, he's taking care of everything. Yeah. <gasps> In that case, what are we waiting for? It means everything is set. He's supposed to go and get married. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Hey. Francis, are you doing here this time of the night? Um, nothing. Nothing? Yes, sir. Nothing, Francis. Please, go in and sleep. Hmm? The night is meant for sleeping. And if you still insist on worrying, do that during the day. Eh? Be good. Papa, I'm not, uh, I'm not worrying. Um, I'll be fine. I should worry, eh? Don't worry, mommy. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll go into the rest soon. Well, um, if you say so, then I'll be leaving. Yes. Please, go and sleep, eh? I will. Please, my dear. I will. Huh? Okay. Oh, you guys, uh, see, maybe we need to ask for an advance before we start work on that land. I mean, we know the grass on that land is very stubborn, so stubborn. We need to go to the mills to sharpen our cutlasses before we start work on the land. Yeah, I think it's better that way. Oh, Francis, what do you think? What's wrong with him? I don't know. He's been like this all day. Francis. Francis. Mm. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Are you here? <laughs> sorry. Uh, so sorry. I was lost in my thoughts. Yeah. You were really lost, it's obvious. Francis, what troubles you? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking about a lot of things. Like Mary Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> really? Francis, were you thinking about Mary? Yes, I have. I think we've been unfair to her. She was our friend. My girl. I knew it. I knew you were going to change your mind. I knew. I know you. I know you. Huh. you Tuchuku, are you all right? <laughs> over, yeah. over, over, over right, they worry me. The other day, no, tell his wait. Don't ask me. The other day, what did he tell me? I knew what I was saying about the girl. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You are, 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 but you lose armor, um, you lose composition. Die. Oh, oh, Francis sure. has fallen in love with her the second time. <laughs> ah. Francis, so, mm. is this Mumu speaking the truth? Yes, he is. Francis, are you out of your mind? Have you lost your mind? Huh? Wait, you want to go after a girl who almost killed you in the bush? A girl whose parents died in an abominable way. A cursed girl. Hey, hey, hey. Francis, just just stop, stop. Enough. Enough. Look, she was our friend. Okay? My girl. And then when she needed us most, we, we failed her. We betrayed her. Hmm. I can't believe you're saying this. Okay, let me ask you one question. Were you not the one 
who swore with everything you call holy never to have anything to do with that girl again. Will you not the one? Answer me. I was. Uh huh. Then I was like a child blinded by lies. Now I know better. No, let me laugh for you. <laughs> big boy, yeah, big boy. Now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! Shut your mouth! Shut your trap! If you don't have anything to say, just keep quiet! Shut up! Mature no idea! We're discussing something, you, you, you're just laughing, making it... Um, see, Francis... All I'm trying to say here is... You have to think about this over and over again before you make a wrong decision here. On me, but I love her. The rest like you, so no wanting to. Francis, what do you want from me? I, I came to beg you to please forgive me. I, uh, I want you to take me back. Take you back? Where? Huh? Francis, there is no space for you in my life anymore. Francis, you, you abandoned me. You gave me up. You turned your back on me when I needed you most. And now you show your face around here and say you want me back? It's never going to happen. So you get lost. Come here, please. I, I beg you, please forgive me. Remember the good times we shared? Oh yes, uh, of course I remember the good times we shared. But did you ever think about that? No! You thought I was not going to survive this, Francis. You, th you thought I was just going to die or something. Francis, you and your friends would not even as much as talk to me. You of all people, you abandoned me and left me by myself. You said I was cursed, didn't you? Now what do you want with a cursed girl? Uh, please, I, I know I was stupid, I, I, I was misled. Please, just forgive me. Okay. T take me back. Francis, okay. I forgive you. Thank you. I forgive all of those of you who forsook me in the past. But taking you back, my darling, it's never going to happen. As a matter of fact, my heart belongs to someone else. Someone who understands my life's value. I am getting married to someone else, Francis. So in your best interest, I advise you get out of here, get lost and remain lost. Forever. Mama, Papa, I am married now. Just
just as you two have always wanted. A good man. He has promised to be everything to me. A mother. A father. A husband. My happiness. I wish you all were here to see him. But I'm sure you're watching, even as I speak. Papa, Mama, do not sleep. Protect me in all that I do. Do not leave me unprotected. Mama, I will name my first daughter after you. And my first son, I'll name after you, Papa. I love you both. And I miss you so much. They have heard you. I want you to get your tears out and give me a beautiful smile on your beautiful face. That's all. Uh, I have to fill my tank. <laughs> Don't worry, your food is ready. I'm just going to serve it in a minute. Okay. Um. By the way, um, where are Mom and um, Timothy? Uh, they should still be in their rooms. I'm sure they'll come down whenever they're ready. In their rooms by this time. Look, seriously, must those two always be called down before Sweetheart, they Sweetheart, you are going to work, okay? You need to eat first. When they want to eat, I'm sure they'll come down and eat. <laughs> oh. You're not giving me laughs, are you good at it? <laughs> Mama, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mom. <laughs> did you sleep well? Of course I did. Why won't I? Give me one reason why I shouldn't have. I miss my two handsome sons. Tony and Timothy. Hmm? Look at them. Fine boys. <laughs> Timothy here makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> and uh, my, my handsome son there to provides all my needs. Can't you see? I am fulfilled. I'm a complete woman. Um, Oga, who doesn't greet, um, good morning, your highness. Good morning, bro. And how are you? I'm not fine. Meaning? Uh, my wife, can I have my food served? I am famished. But mama, mama, how could you be talking about food when you know I have something important to say? And bro, what's up with the money you promised to give me? I've not heard a word from you. And I told you I'll give you on my return. But I told you I need the money urgent. Uh, Timothy! Timothy. Timothy, don't get me started, okay? Please, do not get me started. Any other time but now. Don't get me started this morning. I have told you I don't have a dime to give you, so don't push me. Please. What is wrong with yourself? Must you always be petty when you're asking for money? My fine son, please don't mind him, eh? Just find him a little thing that will ease off his worries, eh? Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, can you serve him that food? Okay, fine. Since we all want to eat food, nobody wants to listen to what I have to say. Fine, let's all eat food, but you have to serve me first. Timothy! Look at me. I said, look at me! Now, you see this woman? 
She is my wife. Okay? Now, if you would want my wife to serve you food in my house, you will ask her in a much more appropriate manner. Other than you acting like you are at some local restaurant ordering some local cheap food. Do you understand me? And so? I just lost my appetite. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just... Um, Mom? That guy, do you know him? Is he your son? Is he my brother? Does he bear the same surname with us? I think he's alien. So I'll be out two weeks, Max, okay? What about the car? Where will you leave it? I'll have it parked at the airport. Okay. Love you, okay? I love you too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to give you money for food stuff. I know the store is empty. Yeah. Thank you. Now you buy whatever food stuff you need. And um, if you need more money, let me know. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, you take it on. I'll take care of you. I will. Okay? I will. Take care of yourself. All right. All right. <laughs> Saying, have you seen what I've been saying? My beloved brother has refused to give me money, but he parks like a hundred thousand naira and gives to the wife. What? Hundred thousand? <laughs> Why would he give us so much money? What else? What else? If not to make her hair, fix her nails, and buy some stupid makeup. A hundred thousand naira. Has he gone crazy or what? So, where is he now? Oh, he drove off. He drove off because he obviously I was coming in to tell you. Okay, he ran away, isn't it? I see. Fine. And now, where is that his precious wife? She's outside. Mom, she's outside and she still has that money with her. Let's get. There she is. So I've become too small for you to answer me. Oh, 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 oh. an elder. To be an elder in your father's family. Uh, Mama, why now? What, what, what did I do? Did I do anything wrong? Yes! Where is the money my, my son gave you? It's right here. But Mama, he gave me that money to, to do your hair and make your nails. I know. You have simply come to eat up my son's money. Tell me, has anybody in your family seen wealth? You have come so that you can eat my, my son's money. Yum, 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 like a thief. 
for your purpose. Oh, Mama. Hey! One more word from you and I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. No, 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 no. And why are you shaking your head like that? You think I cannot slap you? She's not worth the stress at all at all. Don't touch her. Or you see, simply care. Listen. Thank your stars, Mama stopped me. I would have scattered this ugly temptation of yours. Don't leave her. Stupid girl. Thief! You want to reap where you didn't sow, right? You think you can turn my son against me? Who? It is you. He will leave. He will leave you. Abandon you. Mom. Come and take money. Which man? Did she come with any money? Poverty is drinking care. Poverty is drinking care. I have suffered. So it is me, me, that Timothy is threatening to sleep. He is setting blow for me. Hey! I've suffered though. I have really suffered. But it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, honestly, I'm beginning to miss you already. Mm. I just want to hold you in my arms right now. Oh, please, don't start, okay? You know how I get when you put me in that mood? I don't stop. <laughs> and you know that my husband is not around to put out the fire. <laughs> okay. I miss you too. Everybody's fine. Mama is fine. Your brother is fine. They are all fine. Okay, my darling. I want you to come home. Come back soon. Okay. I love you too, darling. Bye. <laughs> Mama. You won't believe it. Are you sure of that? Yes! I am certainly sure. Hey! Tell me. What did you hear? She held her phone like this. Baby! Please don't turn me on. You know, my husband is not here to quench the fire. That means you have to make yourself available. What? Yes. She said that. Mama, have I ever lied to you before? Look, Timothy. We have to catch her red-handed. But Mama, what for? I, I, I saw her saying those things to that, that person on the phone. We have to, we can't just fight her based on that. We have to catch her red-handed. <sighs> Mama, Mama, it is very obvious that Mary is cheating on my brother. And you know that is very, very dangerous. Yes. She can even give my son one of these venereal diseases. No. Don't worry. We are going to set a trap for her. If possible, go with her to everywhere she's going. Follow her up, step by step, in this house, until we catch her. Hmm? Then we have, she will never forget what we have done to her. Okay. Um, Mama. 
I need some more money. Huh. What happened to the money I gave you the other day? The hundred thousand naira I collected from Mary. Mama, it's finished now. I used it all. It wasn't even enough. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You mean you blew up a whole hundred thousand naira in four days? Mama, that money lasted 20 minutes in the club with my friends and it was not enough. One of my friends actually had to borrow me some money and he wants it back today. Anyway... <sighs> How can you go about incurring debts for us here and there? This is not fair now. Mama, listen, if you don't give me money right now, you come to the police station and bail me for incurring debts. But is, is your friend a police officer? His elder brother is a police officer. In fact, a police inspector. My friend actually borrowed the money from his brother and gave it to me, and the brother wants it today. How much did you collect from me? It's just 80,000 naira. 80,000 naira? You call it just? That's not how I can give you all that. That's all I have from me. 80,000 naira, nothing more. Anyway, I, I can only spare 50,000 naira. 50 what? Yes, now. Mama, 50,000 is too small now. All I do 50,000 naira. Okay, make it 60k. No. No, hell no. Okay, I'll just add 5,000 now and make it 55,000. 55? Oh, Mama, you have money now. What's 55? Oh, okay, fine. Where's the 55,000? Bring it. Go and get my bag. Hundred thousand naira in just four days. Can you be blowing up money like that?
it's okay. You went back to eat. possible. There's, there's not too much salt in the soup. So I'm not lying. Oh, I, 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 I don't know when a soup is salty or my taste bud is old because of age or even dead. Mama, please excuse me. Let me just taste it. possible now. Mama, I, I didn't put too much salt. No, I, I even tasted the food after cooking it and it tasted nice and okay. But th this is very strange. Mary, why do you hate me so much? Why you fully aware that I'm an aged woman who must be careful about the quantity of salt I eat? Why would you want to kill me? Why? Ma Mama, let, let me let me taste this. She wants to cut our intestine with so much salt so she can inherit my brother's wealth. Oh, Why would you want to kill us? What have you done to you? What? Mama, please, it's not like that. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It was not deliberate. Please. Let us assume it wasn't intentional that you wanted to kill us. Let us also assume that it was a main mistake. Let me ask you. Why would you cook a whole pot of soup with so much money, lot, thousands of naira, and then destroy with salt. My son's money. Mary, my mom, sorry, please. It was not deliberate. I'm confused myself. I am not going to throw away this soup or force you to eat it. I am going to put it inside the freezer and wait for my son to return so he can taste it just like we have. I'm sorry. It wasn't deliberate. I'm sorry to make life miserable. Because of you, my brother hates me so much. Because of you, my brother has refused to give me money. I will show you. Timothy. So, this is your handiwork. This is your own childish way of making Mama get upset with me. By spoiling my soup with salt. Taking too much. You're taking too much. You better respect yourself. Respect yourself. Okay. No problem. Mary. Why haven't you cooked food for us to eat this morning? Because there is nothing to be cooked. 
And what does that mean? It simply means that there is no food in the house to be cooked. Well, the only food we have in this house is the soup which you spilled with salt. So if you're so hungry, why don't you go to the freezer, dish some, and you know, I can help you make a bite if you don't know how to do that. You're very stupid for asking me to eat that salty soup. You and I'll slap you again if you provoke me any further. Now, the only reason why I will not react to this is because you are my husband's brother. No one has ever tried this without having to eat his or her excreta. Now, do not try it again. Don't try it again. Else, you will not like this war that you're about to begin. What did you say? What did you just say? Did I hear you say war? You want war with me? You piece of rag. Trying to rub shoulders with me in my own brother's house. You, a woman trying to pay your strength with me. Okay, fine. Fight. I want you to fight me. <laughs> Timothy, you're pushing me. You are pushing me to the wall. I'm pushing you. Hmm. The last time I checked, this is pushed. Fight me! Come on, fight me! What is it? Do you want to kill her before her husband returns? Mama, what is her use in this house if she cannot make food for us to eat? Mary, why didn't you cook? Do you want us to starve? Mama. I have explained to him that there is no food in this house. Mama, you know that's completely impossible. My brother cannot leave this house without dropping money for us to eat food. She has used the money on her hair and her nails, Mama. Mary, how can you use the money given to you for food for your nails and your hair? Mama, I didn't do anything like that. Whether he squandered the money on women and alcohol. Mama, you see? I told you this girl keeps... I'm going to kill you in this house! Mama, you... you, 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 you I'm going to punch your face! You still have more to talk! No, 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 no. Mary, do you think if I left you, you would have been able to match strength with him? Eh? Leave her, don't kill her. Don't touch her again. Now go into the kitchen and prepare food for us to eat. Go. With what? With what? I told you there is no food. There is no food. But my son drops money now. Yes, he did drop money. The same money you took from me. I handed it right to him to squander. Wait a minute. You mean that money was meant for a food stop? Yes, it was. I tried to explain to you, but you wouldn't listen. There is nothing I can do. There is no food. Damn it. But you told me she wanted to use the money for, for, for her hair and her nails. Mama, I thought so. Huh? You thought? You thought so, eh? No problem. Keep thoughting. When you finish thoughting, you will think. And then you will starve. But Mama, I'm hungry now. Tell her to give me food to eat. You are talking about hunger. I'm talking about starvation. <laughs> and where is that girl? I have to finish. Hello. Mary Magdalene. Jesus Lord. Francis. What are you doing here? I, I, I came to see you. You came to see me? In my husband's house? For Christ's sake, I've told you I'm married and nothing can ever bring me back to you. I, I just need to discuss it. I don't want to hear it. Listen, just, if you know what is good for you, you better go back to wherever you came from and forget you ever knew me. Listen, I don't have to call the security to throw you out. Mary, calm down. I don't want to, for Christ's sake, you want to break my home? Change your okay! Change your okay! Madame. Come, come, come. I'll finish with him. Let him out. Oh, yeah. Okay. What would my food is He should never come back it's to okay. this house again. Don't ever let him in. Get him out if you have to carry him. Carry him, carry him on, the, on, on your shoulders. Say you turn, no means I know if you might you out of the gate. 
You know, it's not be by height and by might. Or your forward match. Nonsense. Madam, how much is it? Six thousand euros. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mary. Jesus Christ. Francis, are you following me around? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Actually, I, I, I need to talk to you. I need your help. You need my help. What kind of help? Jesus. Who? What happened to you? Forget, forget it. It's nothing serious. You call this nothing? Was it that your husband? What? Tony would never lay a finger on me. It's his kid brother. And what did your husband do? My husband is not in town. Now, Francis, will you stop questioning me about my personal life and tell me what you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, uh, my father is dying. I, I can barely eat, not to talk of paying his hospital bills. How bad is it? Very bad. Very, very bad. The hospital is insisting that I pay 50,000 naira. Don't have it. And I didn't know who else to get it from. So that's why I came looking for you. Okay, um, you follow me to the car. I'll give you some money. You give me money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mary, after everything I, I, I did to you, I'm shocked that you still want to help me. Please, can we stop talking about the past? All that is behind me. The good thing is that we are all alive and well. Follow me. Thank you, Mark. Um, here, this is a hundred thousand naira. I want you to use it to pay for your father's medical bills. Also, use the rest to get yourself some trousers and some nice shirts. You don't look nice in this at all. Bless you too. Just make sure you get some medical care that you need, okay? Take care. Same thing. So why should you hide food at me? Because I do not want another sort of accident to happen. Okay. I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Okay. Right after I'm done with the dishes. Mary, you respect me. I wait for you to finish washing before I can eat food. Or would you rather it's in the days. Okay. I'll wait for your design.
Sorry, I was actually no was probably this. I'll be up again. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? I am here. I am here. Your greatest fear. Your greatest fear. I'll eat up your I'll heart. I'll eat up your heart. And then your soul. Then your soul. Hey, 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 baby, slow down. Slow down. It's you. Of course it's me. You're back. Yes, I am back. But uh, how did you get in? I, I, I locked... Darling, I have the spare key. 
What are you going to welcome me? I'm sorry. Come here. You're welcome. <laughs> hey. Your eye. Oh, no, it's nothing. What happened? I, I said it's nothing. Did somebody hit you? Huh? Look, Tonika, why don't you come down? You just no, no, no. Did, did, did Timothy do this? No, no, no. Listen, it's nothing to worry about. What do you? Just... Tim Timothy hit you? It's Tim. <laughs> What? Go ahead and kill your only kid brother because of that prostitute you call your wife. What, 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 what did you just say? I will say it over and over again. Your wife is nothing but a cheap prostitute. Free woman. Uh, excuse me? Yes! She wanted to lure your kid brother to sleep with her. What? That is a lie! No, no, no. What, 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 what did you just say? What? Your wife here wanted to seduce your kid brother, Timothy, to sleep with her. He refused. She used to harm on him. He had to fight back. He had to defend himself. That is a big lie, man. You know it. Timothy here tried to rape me. He beat me up when I stopped him. I would have just, I just, just fought him back. I never hit him with anything. Mama, I told you. I told you she was going to lie about it. Now she has reversed everything. You know who's lying. You know the liar. Will you shut up? Cheap prostitute. What makes you feel that my son here will listen to you more than his kid brother? Enough. I said enough, 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 enough. Now you, why would my wife want to lure you to bed with her? Okay, now give me your proof. Listen, it's very simple. Mama here knows everything. She's my witness. Oh yes, I saw everything. Listen, let me just let the cat out of the bag. Your so-called wife figured I had found out about her sexual relationship with her boyfriend. In return, she wanted to sleep with me. She offered to sleep with me and I said no. That's all. You oh, are nothing. You are nothing. Are you saying against me? That's all you do, you coward. Oh, you even wanted to hit him again in my presence. Tony, did you see your wife's eye? Like a lion as I was to devour her prey. You cheap prostitute. Stop, 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 stop now. You, you said she has a, a lover. Oh, yes. Yes, she does. One very tall guy, fair skinned in complexion. Listen, your wife never got off the phone with him. Ever since you traveled, she's been going to have sex with this guy on a daily basis. There's no day that goes by she doesn't talk to him on the phone. Yes, she's always on the phone with him. In fact, for hours. They'll be talking on phone, eh? They're talking about how they are going to meet to have sex another time. This is ridiculous for Christ's sake. What is ridiculous? Oh, yes! Ridiculous! You think we will find out? Eh? She's always taking calls, and she will never take those calls anywhere around us. Cheap woman. Your anus has been opened. <laughs> we have all the facts. Tim, show your brother the facts of life. Oh, yes! Bro, I took the trouble of keeping records of every call she made. Call duration, call time. I even have pictures with the two of them. Here, pictures of the two of them holding hands. Say it. Is that you good? When did Francis become Tony? This is not what it looks like. You have to listen to me. Yeah. Honestly, I can explain this. It, 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 I have nothing to do with this. Mary, stand up. <laughs> Go to the room. And pack your things and leave our house. Leave! Cheap woman! <laughs> hey, 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 listen. My brother said, Go to the room. And my mother finished this statement. My mother said, Pack your things and get the hell out of this house. Crocodile tea. I said, Stand up. Go to the room and wait for me. You still have some explanation to do. What nonsense? Send her back in! <laughs> so move it! <laughs> Are you alright? Send her back in. Not until I've had my judgment. She's 
still remains in this house. Hey! Hey! Okay. Okay. Hey! Mama, you see? I told you. He is too weak. He cannot even control her. She controls him. Okay. Tony, please. You have to believe me. There is nothing between Francis and I, I swear. Tony, think about it. I have never lived with any man in my life except you. You are the old first person that... You broke my virginity yourself, Tony. I swear on the grave of my late parents. Oh, oh, all right. I, I know I, I did break you. Yes, fine. All right. But I'm confused right now. I mean, they have very good evidence against you. Tony, but you have to believe me. Believe your wife. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm not denying meeting with Francis. I'm not denying giving him money. But that is all. He only just came for assistance. Please. All right. This Francis, what's his phone number? Francis doesn't even have a phone. Where does he live? He lives a few meters away from my house in the village. Fine. Where's your phone? He's, he's, he's under that pillow. Who's <laughs> what? <laughs> You are grounded, okay? Which means you will not leave this house until I say so. Which in turn means no more buying anything outside this compound, no jogging outside this compound or whatsoever until I say so. You are grounded. <laughs> So how did it go? Good. I have it all on tape. You think they're having an affair? On the contrary. Nothing between them. Let's go. You hear the confession yourself. Mary. Sit down. Why? Why is she not even supposed to be here? We're asking her to Mama, this is still my house. Please. Okay. Just say what you want to say and send her packing. Mama. Timothy. Mary. You three disappoint me. Yes. I mean... I traveled for some weeks and he turned my house into a war zone. Timothy beat up my wife and you, Mama, support all his wrongs. Are you drunk? Did you see what? Mama, I haven't finished. Now, Mary, I blame you. I blame you for all this. Severally, I called you and you never for once mentioned that Mama and Timothy have been maltreating you. You never even mentioned that Timothy beat you up simply because of food. You never did. No. Who has been feeding you with these lies? Well, Mama, it doesn't matter who has been feeding me. The truth is that I have my facts. Oh. 
the get man has been telling you things. Like I said, it doesn't matter who told me what. I mean, you and your son ganged up against my wife simply because Timothy here hasn't been getting enough of my attention. No, but that, that is not true. But bro, that's very wrong information. You. Hey, 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 now listen. One more word from your lying deceitful tongue and I'll throw you out of my house and out of my life for good. And I don't even care if Mama here follows you. <gasps> now you may win. The truth is, you and Francis are friends, very close friends. It is also true that you withdrew 100,000 naira from your account to help his dying father. But the truth is, that if you had informed me before this whole episode, it wouldn't have been hard to believe you. Oh, so we are the ones lying now? Yes. As a matter of fact, yes. Now, I don't know what you stand to gain from all this. I don't know. I mean, this thing here went up to my room to rape my wife. He tried to rape my own wife in my house. And you support that kind of betrayal? If not for God and what people would say, I would have thrown both of you out of my life a very long time ago. Now you... Look at me. I said, look at me, my friend! I will just pretend, okay? I will pretend that this whole thing never happened, okay? This whole episode of you trying to rape my wife in my house never happened. Or even you beating her up never happened. Ever, ever, ever in your life, try to raise a finger to touch her dress, not to talk of her face. Now, this is for you. If that happens, you will either lose one of your sons or you will lose both of them. Let's go. Mama, Leave me alone. It was all your fault. You, you, deceiving me all this while and telling me lies. But Mama, I was going to say I love you. She Shut up! Love you, you. Shut up! Love you, you. Shut up. No, you Mama, so you believe him now? I am really, really sorry. I shouldn't have doubted your sincerity. Please forgive me. Baby, I'm sorry. Please. I'm impressed. Oh my god, I'm impressed. Your feet. Oh, your feet. Oh. You know, you always told me to keep walking out. Oh, so I've been doing it every day. Oh my god. Um, I think I should go to the hospital. Huh? What? Why? What happened? It is, it's my period. I expected it the whole of last month. It did not come. And now this month is almost getting to an end. It still hasn't come. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is this supposed to be funny? Forgive me, but it's only natural. You're pregnant. What? Yeah. But, but how would you know? I mean, come on. I expect you to know better. When a woman doesn't get her flow as at when due, it's only obvious she's pregnant. Really? Yeah, we have been 
really doing it? You're crazy. Are you serious? <laughs> Come in. <laughs>
But meanwhile, me, I need some money. I need money. And like I said, I don't have money till the end of the month. If you tell your wife now, you jump up and get her some money. Till the end of the month. Give me money. I don't have money. And I won't have money till the end of the month. Now, in the meantime, you get to your son, Timothy. Ask him to tell you whatever business he wants to do. And then get back to me. Then, at the end of the month, when I have money, Maybe I'll give him. Well, give me that money now. Give me money. Look, Tim, if you don't convince him, you won't get the required amount. That's exactly the same thing I'm saying, Mom. I'm sure with your support, he's going to give me. So... How much are you asking for? Seven million. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. How much is my own commission? Commission? But what do you need a commission for? Why would I need commission? Okay, I'll give you 500,000. No problem. In that case, I would like you to beef it up. Add 3 million naira to it. So you should be asking for 10 million naira so I can get my 3.5 million. Okay. But in that case, there's no need to give you the 500,000 naira. Then you won't get my vote. Okay, Mama, I'll, I'll give you 3.5 million. That's a deal. But Mama, what do you need all this money for? What do you need it all for? I'm a young boy now. I don't need money. Uh -huh. I'm a old man, I need to vitalize. <laughs> um, okay, honey. So, tell me. What did your doctor say about when you say your pills? He said exactly the same thing you said. I am pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. <laughs> Which means I'm going to be a father. Yes. Huh? And I'm thinking it's going to be a boy. Maybe if it's a boy, I'll be so glad. <laughs> what? I need to take a shower. I'm just so thinking right now. Mm, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you have to kiss me first. Mm, okay. And again. <laughs> no, seriously, baby, seriously. 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 <laughs> you have to stop all the exercises. Why? Baby, it's not good for our child. Come on. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, Mama and Timothy, you think I handled them good? Mm, yes, you did. You did good. But hmm, from the look on their faces, I don't think they quite liked the amount of money given to them. But then again, I'm thinking, maybe you should also set Mama up in a business. You know, something small she can manage. No, not a bad idea. I also think I should set you up so you can start working. Me? Yeah. Work? Of course. I'm thinking of, you know, opening up a shopping mall for you. <gasps> really? Yes, yes. Oh my God! Come on, stop! I mean, you're very intelligent and you're very good at handling things. Oh, why not? God, I feel like crying. I'm so happy. Wow. <laughs> now, is this the part where I get to have my kiss and proper hug? Huh? <laughs> you deserve everything. But first, I'm going to have to take a shower. So, I can give you everything. Full package. How about I escort you to the shower? Why don't you carry me instead of carrying the whole chair? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, you know I'm pregnant. You need to treat me with ease. Okay. Mama. 
I might need to talk to you. Wake up. Oh, I'm tired. I want to sleep. Mama, Mama, it's important. Can you can you sit up? Mama, sit up and hear me out now. What is it? Mama, sit up and hear me out now. Hi. Mama. 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 Your son is about to spend 50 million naira on his wife. 50 million naira on what? Hey, he wants to open up a shopping mall for her. Obviously. Hi. Uh, is that why he has not been giving us money? Mama, you see, sometimes I tell you the truth and you don't understand. I told you that girl used juju on him. Now he doesn't think with his head anymore. And he's spending 50 million naira on her. 50 million. Come on, man. What is it, man? Is this the way you want to treat your brother and I? Eh? I asked you for money you said you don't have. Start a 10 million naira business for your kid brother. You said you can only spare 1 million naira. And yet you are planning to, to spend 50 million naira on your wife's shopping mall. 50? I don't remember discussing that with you. I mean... <laughs> are you trying to deny it? Eh? Are you denying having discussed that with your wife last night? Discussed with her? Mama, seriously, have you started eavesdropping on me? Because I don't know what to tell you right now. Look, you definitely don't have anything to say. You don't have anything to say. Eh? Just go upstairs, drop whatever you are doing, go upstairs. Write a check of 10 million naira and bring it. Okay, sir. Now, um, here's a check in your name. Go on. You take one million naira and you give my one million naira. Start off whatever you want to start. One million naira for me? What would I use that for? Mama, that's my new policy. Yeah. See, you take one million naira and he takes one million naira, that's a check for two million naira. Okay, start up whatever business you want to start up with. After all, I mean, I started up with something less than that. Look at me now. But I asked you to write 10 million naira. Mama, whatever juju you are using, can't you see it's not working? Change. Get another native doctor. Please. Mama. Mama. What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? No, tell me. What would one million naira do for me? Listen, go and tell your son this money won't be enough. Or else you won't get your own share of the money. What do you mean by that? Eh? Try it and I will tear you apart. But mama, you were here when you wrote a check of two million. What, 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 what would this, what would, what would two, two million naira do for me? Did you have 100,000 naira? 
Did you have it? Stupid boy. I thought I told you to wash my car. It's not in the compound. I think your brother must have driven it out. Excuse me? Driven what out? I only gave him access to that car over there. Why would he drive my car? For what? Chijoke! Chijoke! Come here, come, come, come here. Why would you allow uh, Timothy to drive out my car? Oga, I bet no vessel. I'll be no one open up for him. But all that team say he go blow me well well. I my reason I'm say he get as he be for me to leave road, enter bush. I can't open up for him. My friend, get out of here. Will you stop there? Go and watch the SUV for me. Quick, move. Look, seriously, this boy is getting on my nerves. He's really getting on my nerves. Just calm down. I mean, what's this? Why would you drive my car? Calm down. Calm down. Just take any of the other cars and go. Huh? I mean, but I'm almost late. I mean, what, what is this? It's all right now. You don't have another option. Just take one of the cars and go. Or do you want to call a cab? Why do I don't understand this boy? And who do you want to call? Timothy, of course. Stop wasting your time. He's not going to pick. I advise you just take the other car and just go for your appointment before you run late. I mean, my... My bankers, have they started taking cheap drugs? What is it? Why would they send me this kind of alert? Saying I withdrew 22 million naira from my account. Did you give anyone a check? No, only... Um, the check I gave uh, Mama and Timothy for 2 million naira, that's it. Yeah. You better call your account officer now. Honey, did you pick my call? What? No! I mean, my account officer's call is not on the missed call list. He did call me and somebody picked it. But you know I would not pick your call except you asked me to. <laughs> yeah, Patrick. Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, what's going on with your bank? Uh, what kind of alerts did they send me? Yeah, yeah, saying I withdrew 22 million naira from my account. What's that all about? Uh, yes, I only gave my brother... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I only gave my brother a check for 2 million naira, that's it. What? Wait, 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 you called me. And I gave you confirmation. Wait, what are you talking about? He's been there already. Please, please, I beg you in the name of God, please, please, just stop him. Stop him, please, please, I beg you, just stop him, stop him, please, please. Oh my God, oh my God, this boy has finished doing Timothy has gone to the bank and he has withdrawn 22 million naira from my account. Jesus. I'm 22. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Your son has succeeded in defrauding me. Your criminal son has succeeded in defrauding me of 22 million naira. 22 million naira. Are you sure it was my team that collected them? If not him, who else? If not Timothy, who else could have done it? He's not the only one that has access to your checkbook. Eh? Did you ask your wife? She might be the one that did it. Mama, you and I know that there's no way I could do something like that. No, 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 excuse, 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 excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I am telling you that your son, your criminal son, pulled out 22 million naira from my bank account and yet you are accusing my wife? Timothy cannot do something like that. He cannot. Who, who, who did it? Of course he bloody did it. He bloody did it. Now let me tell you how he did it. He changed the figures on the check I gave him for 2 million naira to 22 million naira. And when my bankers called, he picked up my phone, pretended to be me, and told him to confirm payment. Really? Yes, really. Now ask yourself this question, why hasn't he come home since morning? Why hasn't he come home since he did it? And worse still, he took one of my cars, my best car. 
Well, he must have a reason for doing so. Wait a minute. You wanted to hit me? Eh? Tony, if your wife didn't hold you back, you would have hit me. Eh? Mama, please. Tony is very upset. Don't make things worse. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up! You are the cause of this whole thing. How? How am I the cause? Did I ask Timothy to go and take his brother's money? Did you say take? He stole my money. That criminal stole my money and Mama sees nothing wrong in it. Uh, if he didn't steal your money, whose money will he steal? Is he not your blood brother? Eh? You are just shouting because he took a little out of your money. Excuse me? Excuse me? You call 22 million naira small money? 22 million naira small money? No, no, what do you take me for? You, you think I am some rich idiot who stacked up some billions somewhere and doesn't know what to do with it? But you are rich now. Oh, and that's why your very self and Timothy you want to kill me. Both of you want to kill me. Now, let me tell you this. Kindly, kindly communicate to him because I know you can get to him. Now tell him to get back my money before the end of today. Else consider him dead. That's what I said. Empty threats. No matter what is still your brother, blood is thicker than water. And a thief is a thief. Will you shut up your mouth? If you open your mouth to talk to me again, I'll spit fire on your face. Stop now, where are you going? Come! Let's Mama! Come now, Mama, just leave me. Are you pointing at me? Jesus. How much is 22 million naira that he wants to bust his head? Give me her attention. She's screaming like one cursed demon. Wait a minute. Timothy, with 22 million. I must call him. That's my food. Hey, God. It's been two weeks. And Timothy is nowhere to be found with the car. Mom, I, I, I'm sure he must have squandered all the money by now. Hey! Jesus Christ. Hey, but wait, oh. Can't the police track him down? Look, there's been no trace of the car. No trace of Timothy. I can bet anything that he's in one neighboring country. May maybe go to New Ghana or Togo. Hey, Jesus. What kind of problem is this? Hmm? Oh my God. So, what are you going to do now? No, seriously, I do not know. My building project has not been finished. My workers have started complaining. I only have 25 million naira in my account, which is not enough to finish up that project. And very soon, my clients will start complaining, and that consequence is one I cannot handle. Seriously. God. But why? Timothy, why? Why? What kind of wickedness is this? I mean, what haven't I done for this boy? Hey. No, what? Huh? What haven't I done for Timothy? I don't know why he's bent on ruining me. Wickedness is the highest order. Come, my husband, please. Calm down now, I beg you. Eh? Please, just calm down. I believe God will do something. Oh, Bikono. Calm down. Uh, I I don't even know what to say. I don't know, I don't know what to say again. Please now. Mm -hmm. I don't want you having a high blood pressure. Please. <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay. What did I do for this boy? It will make your way. Don't worry. Please. Please come and just sit down. Don't come on. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm a, this boy, I have. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Baby, it's, it's okay. Timothy, look, your brother is very angry with you now. By the way, where are you? Ghana. With all that money. Look, 
Don't come back and be telling me that you spent all that money, including my own part of Of course not. You have to give me my own part of the money now. See, I worked it out before you had the chance to do whatever you did. I want half of that money, 11 million naira into my account. Now. So when are you paying it? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll call you when it comes down, okay? Love you. Mm. A millionaire. Oh. And I need some money so I can go to the market and buy some things. Just give me twenty thousand naira. Claudia, I'm talking to you. Never mind. Don't you need to please, please. Just let me be. I am broke. Better still, why don't you call your son? Because I know you know how to get to him. Why don't you call him and tell him to give you some of the money he stole from me? I have to wait for Tim to come back before I can buy the clothes I saw. Eh? Look at what you're just saying. Am I the one that asked him to have come with your money? Did I send him? I give him money and I need to buy some things. Tony, what is the meaning of all this? Mama. Mama, what is it? What is it, Ogunidi? Eh? Now that his business is suffering from so much setback, you are still trying to drain life out of him. What is it? Every time it is Tony give me this, Tony give me that, or it's marry this, or marry that. What is the problem? Mary. Mary Magdalene, or whatever it is they call you. Who invited you into this? Eh? Do you have money? Did I call you to give me money? I was only talking to my son. What business of yours is it? Not anymore. That son of yours now has a wife and a baby coming and I will not sit down, fold my arms and watch you view his life. A wife and a child on the way. <laughs> so because of this stupid pregnancy, this fake pregnancy, you think you have the utmost supremacy over my son against me, his mother? Eh? <laughs> now listen to me. I carried him in my womb for nine solid months. Fed him, clothed him, gave him a background. Unlike you, rich. Mm. <laughs> So because you did what nobody has ever done or what somebody else did not do for you, you're trying to make your own son pay for the things you did to him as a mother by milking him dry? Hmm? Milk him dry? My Tony. Ah, no. My Tony is rich. Very rich. Rich enough to pay your wretched family for one solid year without shaking. <laughs> if you know what is good for you, stay away from my son and I. It is none of your business. Otherwise, I am going to boot this your fake pregnancy out of your mouth. <laughs> boot my pregnancy. Out of my mouth. Yes! I'll make you make you pour it out from your mouth. Ah! Alright. It's okay. Mm. Jesus is Lord. Huh? No problem. Mm? So then, just try to mind yourself. Mind yourself! Mary Magdalene, mind yourself! Don't ever come between me and my son again. Who are you? Mother, he must listen to me first before you, wretch. Stupid.
or gonna the police be this? Yes. How can we help? It's alright, darling. I was expecting this. You were? Yes. You're here in respect of the Donald's group project, right? We are from the state CID. Your attention is needed at our office. And you'll be briefed on the charges against you when you get there. Hmm? Honey, you're not just going to follow them just like that, are you? I, I, I darling, to... darling, just call my lawyer, okay? Let us thank God that we were able to make his spare. <laughs> so we thank God. We really and truly thank God. But not to worry, sir. In due time, my very self, my wife here, and my family will come and show you how appreciative we are. Well, no, Tony, there's no need for that. You and your wife have done well for me in the past. If you had not assisted my son in paying my medical bills, by now I have long been gone. In short, even have been forgotten. Yes, as God may have it, your existence proved useful. Who would we have run to with the demand of a civil servant the police were asking for to facilitate my in-laws' bail? Well, uh, <clears throat> it's only God that uh, kept us this day. But as to pay my debt to your family, <laughs> my family will forever be indebted to you. Ah, no, 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 no. I disagree. I disagree, sir. Whatever we did for you was from what God gave us. And that's the way it should be, sir. Um, um, darling, uh, please, uh, I'd like to go take my bath. Um, so please kindly prepare something for my in-law and this, sir. Here. Don't worry, you run along. So if you excuse me, just for some minutes. No problem. Thank you. So, uh, Uncle, hmm? let me get you something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. But what are you going to do? You promised to complete that building at the end of June, which is just three months away. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to sell one of my houses. Eh? Sell? Yeah. Why? <clears throat> Honey, why not? Huh? I mean, how else can I raise 40 million naira in three months? No, my other business is slow at generating funds right now. Okay? And it will take at least a year before it can raise 40 million naira. So how else will I sort this out? Mm-mm. You're not going to sell your house. This is what you're going to do. You will get a loan from one of your banks using the house you want to sell as collateral. You spread the loan into one and a half years. Before the end of that time, you would have completed the building and be off the hook. Yet you still keep your house. You're a genius. Oh, seriously, you're a genius. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, honey. Um, why did I think of this? Why? Why, why did I? Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. You know, it's so good to see you smile again. Baby, you did the magic. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow morning, I'll just call up my bankers and start the process. That's it. It's done. Oh, we'll be okay. I promise you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, God, thank you. Well, the bank called. They said they have approved uh, the loan. Yeah, I actually requested for 50 million naira. 50? Yeah. I thought you said you needed just 40 million. 
Oh well, I had to request for 50 million naira just in case I'm not able to pay back the loan assets when due. You know, the property I actually used for collateral is worth 80 million naira. Oh, so you're looking at it like you're selling? Exactly. Oh, my darling, I don't know. I don't think you should be... You should always have a positive mindset. You're going to pay back that loan, all right? There's no point in giving away a property worth 80 million naira for just 50 million naira. Well, I know, I know, I know, but honey, you just let me do this clearance and then um, both of us will sit down and, um, you know, we'll do the math on how I'll pay back the loan. You and I? Yeah, you and I. I mean, you've got brains, remember, huh? <laughs> Look, later you and I will sit down and then, you know, we'll do our debits and credits, do the whole math on how to pay back the loan. It's all right. You're on the right track. Okay. Are you take care of you? I will. All right. Uh, and I love you too. <laughs> All right, take Careful. care. Careful. My wife! How are you? Mama, good morning. Morning. How are you? I can see your husband is so excited this morning. Mm. Your baby's growing, you know. <laughs> like, how old is he now? Um, it's seven months. Wow! Seven months! That means in two months' time you become mommy. <laughs> My God, Chris. Hey. That's good. Yeah. I, I, I heard uh, your husband got paid. Enough to cover the debt. Hey, don't go. That's okay. Hey. I, I wanted to ask you one favor. You know, my son hardly listens to me these days. I was going to beg you to help me, ask him to give me 10 million naira out of that loan so I can use it to start small business. So I will stop depending on him. Don't, don't worry, I'll give you 2 million naira out of that money. <laughs> Amen. You know, we can actually be good friends, good, solid business partners. Just help me. She wants to eat my son's money alone, eh? You again? What do you want? Your child. Never. You will never have my child. <laughs> you don't have a choice. The child is mine. This is serious. Your mother-in-law said all that? Uncle, I'm really scared. She really scared me. Mary, you have every reason to be scared. Couple with those dreams you told me you've been having of late. It's not the first time I'm having those dreams. Before my parents died, two water pots were broken. Now and again, another water pot has been broken. Uncle, I'm scared. I don't want to lose this pregnancy for any reason. God forbid. 
Hi. I think we should seek spiritual help, Mary. I can't put this all together. But what you've told me about your mother-in-law and her criminal son, both are out to renew. Hey, Jesus. So, Uncle, what, what, what do I now do? Eh? What will I do? Huh. So, now you know what's under people. Mary, you're back. Mama, good evening. Good evening. I thought you were going to stay like one week with them. I changed my mind. Timothy, so you're back? Um, not really. I just came to see Mama. I heard my brother travel. Yes, he did. But he will soon be back. Okay. In that case, I'll be spending some time. Mm. I'll be in my room. Take good care of yourself. Oh, Why did she come back now? Why? Mama, do you think she's going to call Tony to tell him I'm here? If she doesn't call, what can he possibly do from Germany? There's nothing he can do. Just relax. You know I missed you. <laughs> You're going to stay with me for some time, huh? Like a week. Okay, in that case, I'll make it one month. <laughs> that will be okay. So she's pregnant. So, mind that foolishness. Guess what I saw today in my house? I drove in only to find my husband's brother and the mother. Yes, now. Timothy. Hey. My husband is not back till next month, and he says he's staying for one week. Uncle, I'm worried, though. I'm worried because in this my condition, if he puts a threat to me, I don't know what I'm going to do. No, no, I can't, I can't leave home now. I need to be around in case he tries to do anything funny. Okay. Okay, I'll call you if anything comes up. Alright, sir. Bye. Tim, why didn't you tell me your plans before carrying them out? Mama, I didn't have time, so I acted very fast. Mm -hmm. But do you know that the money you took from his account cost him a lot of troubles? He, he, he was arrested. Well, he shouldn't have allowed it to get to that point. He should have just given them more money. Mama Tony has money, he's just pretending. I don't think he has a lot of money as we thought. I overheard him saying he wants to go and take a loan from the bank. So what has he been doing with all his money? I don't know. Mama, you see, this is what I have been saying. Ever since he got married to that girl, he has become a financial wreck. He dashes money to her family members. In fact, he's just like a Santa Claus to all of them. What? He dashes her people money? Yes, he does. Mama, you've heard nothing yet. I even heard he's building a very big house for one of her uncles in the village. What? When he has not even built a kitchen for me, 
Except this house. Mama, let me tell you something. You know you don't know Mary very well. I know her very well. Mary and her family members are here to milk my brother dry. But trust me, before they succeed in doing that, I'm going to take all my share. Then if he wants to go broke, he can go broke. Whoa! Mary, you know you still look very sexy even with the, the big tummy. Hmm? Touch me one more time and I swear to God I will cut you into little tiny pieces. Where, where did you get the knife from? Keep away from me, Timothy. I was just joking with you. Come on. Listen, you look very sexy even with the angry face, you know. Listen, I can help my brother top it up, top the baby up, you know, think about it. How are you? I'm fine, Good thank you. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. Okay. I couldn't feel any better, just that I miss my old room. Mm. Mm. Mom, your wife is now a butcher. She moves around with a kitchen knife in her hand. Why? Mm, she wants to protect herself from me. She probably thinks I'm going to beat her up or something. <laughs> but do you have any plan to do that? Come on, Mom. I have better things to think of. I can't do that. Good. Just make sure you don't go near her so she won't stab you. Stab me? Mm. Timothy, she won't even dare because I'm going to beat her up like a little baby. No! You're right. Just like you disarmed her when she wanted to hit you with a hammer. <laughs> um, Mom, that situation is quite different from this because she actually attacked me from the back. I know. Let's forget about that and talk about something more important. Yeah. Sweetie, where is my own share of the money? Oh, Mom, I thought I told you I'm holding it for you. I'm saving it for you. Why? Don't I have my own bank account? <sighs> okay, fine, Mom. I promise to put it in your account when I get back to Ghana. Good. <laughs> uh, Mom. I need to go see some of my friends. No problem. Just make sure you don't stay out too late. All right, trust me, I won't. And, Mom, where are their car keys? In their room. Go to Mary. Mary? Yeah. Okay. They will never accept defeat. And what are you doing in my room? Um, I came to pick one of the car keys. 
and the file in your hands. You mean this? I'm trying to keep it safe. Safe? From who? Who asked you? What makes you think that this room is not safe enough for it? Mary, I just told you I'm trying to keep the file safe and you're there asking me stupid questions. Please leave, I wanna go. Do not think that because I am pregnant, I cannot hurt you. If you will make as much as a step out of this room, I swear to God you will lose your eyeballs to the stools. You just pushed me and you still have the guts to talk? You think I'm joking? Drop all my belongings, else I will cut your throat with this. And I promise you I will drive this screw into your eyeballs. Drop it. Hmm? That means I'm dead. So Mary, you want to kill me? Maybe. Drop it. Okay, fine. I do not have any of your belongings, so can I go now? Turn around and get me lost. Get out of my room. Do you think I'm playing with you? actually came into the room, searched the room, took your file bag. Uh, no, 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 sweetie, don't worry. I took it back from him. I just wanted peace to reign. I know I should have called immediately he got in. I'm sorry about that. He's been in for two days now. I'm sorry. Your baby is doing very well. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Okay, miss you. Come home soon. Bye. You can't just walk into somebody's house and get the first nurses. What have I done? Madam, madam, ma please, ca ca can, we, can we settle this? You can't just settle this here. What? Mm -hmm. Mama? What is wrong? Your son is under arrest. For what? For trespassing on Mr. Tony's property. Mary. Ha. Huh. You want to bring the police to arrest my son? See me, eh? Mama, why would I do something like that? Of course I did not do it. Madam, she's not the one that called us. Mr. Tony himself called our station. But. Tony is not even in the country. Yes, he caught up from Germany. Move it. But, 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 but. Settle what? Please, please, I'll give you money. Plenty of money, please. Money? Yes. Madam, don't insult me. Huh. I'm sorry. Please, that, that boy is too young to sleep with me. You see your life. You have done your worst, isn't it? You have done your worst, Mary. You have done your worst, haven't you? Mama, what has what has Mary done again? You were here when the police officer said that it was my husband who called for them to arrest uh, Timothy. How is that my fault? Mary, you have done your worst. When you finish, tell me so I can start mine. Oh, Mama, 
Oh, oh, this is not fair now. Mary. Don't worry. You can now go to the church and do Thanksgiving. Yeah. Go and throw party. Aren't you happy? You're happy, isn't it? When you finish, tell me. So I can open my own chapter. Oh, man, this, this thing you're doing to me is not fair. Oh, eh? you, you, you were here when the woman said that it was Tony who called for them to arrest the brother. How is that my fault? Eh? Mary. Mary. They won't let me see my son. They won't let me see my team. Mama, just calm down and stop crying. Can I stop crying? For two days, my son has been locked up. <laughs> tell your husband to tell them to release my son. No. Tell him to tell them to release his brother. I tried to convince him, but he wouldn't even listen to me. Liar. Mary, you are lying. You are lying. You have not done anything about it. I know how much you, you run around, up and down, doing everything you could to make sure they release your husband when he was arrested by the police. My husband, who happens to also be your son, your first son for that matter. When Tony was arrested, Mama, you did not even shed a tear for him. Now that Timothy has been detained, you're busy crying. Running up and down, running every day to the police station, begging for his release. Mama, this thing you're doing is no good. It's no good. Unfortunately, he'll have to be there till his brother returns. Mama, you know me, I'm, I'm pregnant. I need all the rest I can get. Is that what you have to say? Is that your plan? You want my son to, 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 to die in, in that smelling place? Eh? <laughs> So this is their plan. They want to kill my son. They want to kill my team for me. Hi! Okay. Let him go and come back. If anything happens to my team. If anything happens to my team. Okay. Okay. Mama. Can you believe that after Timothy stole my 22 million naira, he still had the guts to walk into my room and search for the documents to my property? No, that boy does, just doesn't want to ruin me. He wants to ruin me totally. No, no, eh? that is not true. He cannot do all that. Mama, if I had not walked in on him at the time that I did and forcefully collected those documents from him, he would have taken off and only God knows the extent of damage he would have done with it. But what would he have done with those things? Well, it's only obvious. He wants to sell them, yes. He wants to sell them. I mean, can, can you believe that that boy, after stealing my 22 million naira, right now he's broke? He doesn't have a dime? No, no. But how would he have spent 22 million naira in a few months? Of course he did spend 22 million naira in months because your son is into gambling. Hey. No, 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 he has finished himself. All the while he was collecting money from me, your son was into gambling and right now he's into gambling. He confessed that at the station himself. Hey. I didn't know he was into gambling. Though. Well, now you know. What are we going to do now? Huh? What do we, we do? Look, Mama, I came back here to be with my wife, okay? As for Timothy, he will remain in that cell and he will get upgraded to prison. He will make much more friends in prison. That's where he'll be for the rest of his life. Please, I beg you, don't punish him like this. He's your only blood brother. Please. Mary, please help me beg your husband not to punish him. He will remain there. Please No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he has to be in the cell. He has to no. He has to. He has to be there. That's where like he this? has to be. He has to be himself. Help me, beg him, man. They are brothers. Let them not kill themselves because of money, please, please. 
I don't like what you're doing, seriously. I, 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 I really don't enjoy this. Policeman, look at how dirty they made you look. Eh? Mama, tell him to come and open this car. Let me carry my shoes now. Wait, you have to go inside first. Take your shower and then change into new dresses. Come, come, come. Let's go. Well, where do you think you're going? Eh? I'm going to my room now. You're going where? I don't want to go into my room. No, no, no tell me where you're going. Where, where, where do you say you're going? I'm going to my room. Please shut up! Your son whom you begged for is out of the cell, okay? Now do whatever you want to do with him, all right? Now you, you, you this non-living thing, you this thing, because you're not justified to be called a human being, so to me, you are non-living. If you try, ever, ever try to get into my house, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Do you understand me? And you have two minutes to bid your mother farewell. You understand me? That's it. Yeah, yeah, he's so... Ma, I said this non-living thing, this moving heap of human trash is not getting into my house, and that's final. Ha. <sighs> Blood is thicker than water, oh. Mama. Eh? Mama, have you heard? Have you heard? He said I shouldn't enter his house. Okay, tell him to come out and put this car. Let me take my shoes off. Why are you shouting at me? You should come out and put this jeep. Let me take my shoes I want to take my shoes off. Let me go and talk to him. Stop shouting. When you're a GA going when you say. When I was telling you that, that that girl bewitched him. You you okay.
What are you doing with that file? Uh, I thought they'll be safer in my possession. Um, okay. Okay. Your husband did. So you must know where it is. Where is it? With his lawyer. His lawyer? Mary! I hope you are not trying to play a stupid game here. Because if you try it with me... Hey! If you try it... What is the use of a stupid file without the important documents in them? Where are the documents? <laughs> Don't play a fast game with me. Don't try it. Because you will like me. Just let's fire. We all know our son died an untimely death. And all eyes are raising and questions are being asked to what and why he was killed. Oh, yes, that is why we are here today. Before he can be buried, some sacrifices have to be performed. Sacrifices? Yes. What for? Because he was killed and all fingers point at you. Me? What? How can anyone think that I could possibly kill my husband? Yes, you. It's not obvious that you kill him so you can inherit his properties. But I won't let you have them. I will not. Mama. Mama, you of all people know that I loved my husband and there is no way I could ever think of killing him. Oh, shut up! Shut your mouth up. And what makes you think we haven't found out that you fed my little brother with poison? Jesus. Mama, so... Mama, this is... This, this is how you and your son want to fed me up. To free me up for my own husband's death. Mama, this is, this is, this is how you want to free me up. Mary, it's okay. No need to argue or trying to convince us you did not kill him. Yes, in our tradition. People think you kill him. But if you think you did not, there is only one way to prove your innocence. And that is you take a seven-day journey into the evil forest at your field mode. What? For Christ's sake, I am pregnant! You're pregnant? What nonsense pregnancy? What nonsense pregnancy? And how are we even sure that my late brother was responsible for that thing you call pregnancy? Even when your brother was alive, he never denied his pregnancy! No, 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 look, look. Listen to me, listen to me, Mary. I will not have you stay in my son's house until you are able to prove to me and the elders and Umada that you are not responsible for Tony's death. Take the journey into the evil forest or leave this house immediately. I am pregnant, you know, I didn't do it. I didn't do 
where it goes. Oh, me ring me. We don't have to Oh, this year, can I why it's a fool? I don't know what I got. I don't know what I got. I don't know what I got. I don't
Anyway. Do you want to go back? It's your choice. You can go back. But Diago is still out there and very, very angry. It's not human meat. It's grass cutter. Huh? It has no salt. Yes. I don't get much of salt around here. Why do you have so many guns? I can't fight the beasts with bare hands. Why are you here? I... Banished? N not really. Sent into the forest? Seven days and seven nights to prove my innocence. <laughs> I knew you were coming. And I was prepared. How? My deity, Amuma Miri, told me. You need rest. Come, go inside. Your child needs rest. Are you, are you going somewhere? Back to Kidi Agui. He can't stop until you are dead. Jesus. <sighs> yes. You have seen it in its true form. Anyway, do, do you know how to use this? Hold it. <sighs> All you need to do if you, if you see anything is just put it. Don't, no, no, no. <sighs> if you see anything, <sighs> aim the thing and pull this trigger. Mm. Huh? Mm. I'll be back. Thank you. 
What are you looking for? Uh, I was trying to make the bed. You are looking for the documents to your brother's properties. <sighs> Mama, you know we need to keep them safe. They are not here. In fact, they are not anywhere in this whole house. Where could they have kept them? His lawyer has them. It's all your fault. It's all your fault that you didn't have them. Since we are caught searching for those documents in this house. Okay, Mama, fine. I'll have to call the lawyer to bring them. Huh? I have to call the lawyer to bring the, the, the documents. find it. I guess it went deeper into the forest to search for food. But it will come back. But you shot at it back then. Yes, I did. But I wasn't prepared for it. I would have gone with a bigger gun. You also told me that you knew I was coming. I'm sure you must have also known that the big crocodile was going to be there. Well, it doesn't work like that. I'm my Mili spoke of possible danger. But it was not clear. So I went with my little gun. It's okay. It's not coming now. Not this night. Give me. I'm here. Give me. <sighs> you can come inside. What is your name? Mary. Mary Magdalene. And what is yours? I don't know. But I think... Uh... Uh, wait. How long have you lived here? I've lost count. But I know it's well over 25 years. I think you should go back home. Home? This is my home now. I was banished from my village, condemned to live in this forest. Then I was much younger and stronger. Look, such things don't happen out there anymore. Really? Yes. And yet you are here, banished as well. I wasn't banished. What did you do? I was accused of killing my husband. And you didn't do it? I didn't. I was framed. Um, Mr. Lawyer, as we all know, my brother is dead. And the last time I checked, dead people don't come back to life. So that automatically means my mother and myself are his only surviving relatives. So I'm not begging you, but I'm putting it to you that his properties should be in our custody. Yes. I also have that. All the documents to his assets are with you. Yes. He filed all his documents with us. Good. Can we have them then? It's not going to be that simple. What nonsense are you talking about? 
The person in question is dead and buried. So you give us his... What, 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 what rubbish is this? Tim, you don't need to shout. Mom, why won't I shout? You just heard the man. I know. Well, let's hear him out first. Yes? Why did you say that? He filed all his documents with us, like I said before. But he also made a will. Will? Huh? Did he know he was going to die? I didn't know about that. Okay, fine. He made a will, right? He wrote a will. So tell us what is stated in that will we want to know. Uh, I can actually hand you a copy. I don't need a freaking copy. Just tell us verbally what is written in there. All right. He willed all his assets to his child. 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 What child? Tony is here to have a child. As we all know, his wife is pregnant. She will be in custody of all his properties until the child is of age and then hand over everything to the child. What did you, what did you say? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Mr. Lawyer, I don't understand what you're talking about. What about my mother and myself? Did he give us anything? I'm afraid nothing was stated in the way. Except the mother and child are no more. That is when you can be in possession of his properties. But she is mandated to release basic allowance to you monthly. What? Tony has killed me. Tony has killed me. So it is not his wife that will take care of me. Mom, Mom, I told you. I told you that that girl is a witch. She bewitched him, but you wouldn't listen to me. You see? You can always get a copy of the will if you want. Now, will you get out of this place? I used, I used to. So, what do you want me to do with it? What do you want me to do with it? I'll be on my way, man. What are you doing? I am making food. Food? How? I made myself a clay pot and I cook with it. <laughs> so, what are you making? I have finished cooking vegetable soup. I am now roasting the yam. Where do you get all these ingredients? Look around you. This is a forest. You will be amazed at what grows in this forest. But it is not all that you can eat. Some of them are for spirit beings that live in this forest. Hmm. Do you mean like the one I encountered before I met you? The Dwarf King. How did you know? You know, he stopped. I thought he had seen me, but then he sniffed around, changed his mind, and walked away. He sniffed and walked away? Yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He realized that you are pregnant and could do no harm. How is that possible? He did not even see me. He didn't need to see you. You urinated on yourself out of fear when you had that encounter? I couldn't help it. It's okay, I know. 
Just relax, let me finish this food. If she comes back here, Mama, we're doomed. Mama, we're going to be at her mercy. She's going to be giving up 10, 10 cover for food. Mama, I'm not ready for that. That girl mom, mom, must not come back home. Mama, you're not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Can't you see I'm confused? Mama, how can you be confused in this kind of situation? Desperate situation needs desperate measures. Mama, that girl must die there. Oh. She must die there. So do you intend to go into that forest and get her killed? Huh? No, I can't go to the forest to get that kid. How can I go to the forest to get that kid? Then shut your mouth up if you have nothing better to say. Shut up your mouth. <laughs> Mama, 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 it was very nice. I am glad you like it. So, how long are you expected to stay here? Seven days and seven nights. Uh, and you've stayed two days and two nights already? I've already spent two days before I met you. Okay. So you have three days to go. Okay. Where are you going? I am going to check my traps. Well, you haven't finished your food now. I am full already. Ah. What kind of gun is this? Does not look ordinary. Yes, it is not ordinary. It's a gift from my father. Given to him by the gods. He passed it on to me on his dying bed. But you have not loaded it. I don't need to load it. The gods do the loading. You're wondering why I am going out with it? Yes. That is an instruction from my mom and Mary. I listened to their instructions. That is why I survived this forest. Could, could there be danger ahead? Um, I am not too sure, but maybe Agui or something else. Huh? I'll be back. Child, give me your child, and I will spare your life. 
rather die than allow you have my child! Go, then I shall take you boys. Never! Oh, wait. The gods. Anyway. been dreaming again. No. It is real. You were attacked by a witch. Oh my god. My baby. She wants my child. No. Your baby is safe. She didn't succeed. I have been seeing her in my dreams. Oh. And you were plain ignorant all this while. She almost killed you. Do you know why all these things are happening to you? No. I don't know. Three pots are broken. Mary. Your husband died as a result of greed. His people killed him. That wouldn't have happened if you had known earlier. Know what? Your mother is dead. Yes, my mother is dead. She died the same day my father died. Only your mother here is being revealed. Mary, your biological father is still alive. What? No, that, that's not... My, my, my father died. He died the same day my mother died. The gods never tell lies. Your mother had a deep secret, which she never told anyone, including the man thought to be your father. A week before that terrible incident, your father visited me in my house and complained about your mother. 
What did he complain about my mother? He said that your mother and himself went to seek for answers to all the troubles that have been coming their way and they got an answer. Did they say that my mother was responsible for all the predicaments they were going through? Or, or, or did they, did they label her a witch? No, no. He said that uh, the man asked your mother to confess to some secret to him before you turn 30. Or there will be problems beyond what they are already facing. Uh, she chose not to confess to him. So, he killed her? Oh God! Oh God! What, what secrets could my mother could have possibly been keeping? She didn't say. She chose to die with it. I'm sorry Mary. My brother didn't kill your mother. They were both doomed by time to something greater. But only your mother knew this. And she chose to die with it. So, I was told. But, uh, what could that secret be? You must find him. Find him before the child in you steps out into this world. Else you might die giving breath to that child. You have to find him. Only he alone has the power to break the curse that has kept you over these years. Find who? Where do I start? How, 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 where do I go? You have to journey further into the south. There you will see a village called Amodia. The eyes that see all, you will find him. Mama, why are you shouting like that? Hey. You want to bring this house down? My son, how can you talk like that? Can't you see I'm sick? Do you always want me to come into this room and babysit you? I don't have such time. Mama, I offer to take you to the hospital, but you refuse to go. You prefer to, to take palm oil. You finish 25 liters of palm oil in this house. Mama, what kind of sickness is cured with palm oil? I don't have time for your trouble and your questions. Okay, fine. What do you want me to do? What do you want? Don't get me, Pap. Pap! Pop! Papa! Not palm oil anymore! Pop! Papa! Ah! Fine. I'll make you pop. What should I add to it? Sugar or salt? No, 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 no! I'm Papa! Papa! Mama, there's no palm oil in this house! You finished the one in the kitchen! Where do I get palm oil from? Go, 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 go! Go to the market! Go, baby, Papa! Go! I should go to the market! Go, baby, Papa! Papa!
This is how far I can go. Just follow the sun. I'm sure you won't miss your way. Okay. But... I am scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. We've gone past the giant crocodile. It won't come after you again. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Please, I'm looking for the house of that man they call um, the eyes that sees all. Oh, you mean the eyes that sees all? Yes. You take your go straight and get it to the junction. Then take your left. Ask anyone you meet on the way. Okay, thank you. I was directed to this house to see the man they call the eyes that see all. This is the place. Thank God. Um, please, can I see him? I, I need to speak with him. It's urgent and it's very important. You're not from this village? No, I'm not. I joined him from a very far distance just so I could see him. Oh, okay. Come. Do this way. What is it? Um, no, nothing. I I just remembered something. Do you want to go back? No, no, I, I'm here. I'll just see him. Okay, I'm coming. Great son of the universe. Yes, father. You brought in a visitor? Yes, father. She traveled a great distance to see you, father. She's pregnant? Yes, father. What is it, father? Her name was mentioned to me by the spirits before she embarked on this trip. Bring her in. Okay, father.
He will see you now. Okay. Follow me. blind I'm not deaf as well your voice sounds familiar where are you from I am from Umudin I have come to seek answers that's not correct it is not true you came from the dark forest of the spirits you were left for death your husband is dead and we are accused of killing him your child is almost due for birth. Your mother is dead. Yes. Come closer to me. Let me feel your face. Mary. I, I didn't tell. How did you know my name? That name was given to you before your birth. I knew your mother. You did? Yes. You need to bath, eat good food, and rest. Anuka. Yes, father. Take her to the sanctuary. Give her fresh clothes to wear and good food to eat. Okay, father. Mary. Sir. I know your heart seek answers to your unsolved miseries. Yes. Don't worry. I will tell you everything you need to know very soon. Follow my son. It will make you comfortable. Mama, Mama, what is this all over your body? Reaction, reaction from from the attack. Mama, you're smelling. Please stop talking too much. Just go and get me red oil. Go, 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 go and get me more red. In fact, I'm not going upstairs again. I'm going to stay here. Mine is a story of love, betrayal, and cause from a broken heart. My father sent me. He couldn't come, for he has been unwell for two seasons. I am sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. We have tried everyone. 
but no one seems to have a cure for our daughter's ailment. Nothing is beyond the Sebuloa. He gives life willingly and is slow in taking it. Will you heal my daughter? I don't want her to die. Please. Chi Uku pays heed to the cry and tears of a mother. Can I see her? We had to bring her here because of the smell. She is plagued by a curse placed by black witches. Witches? Black witches. A life-sucking curse that makes their victims rot slowly before death finally welcomes them in his cold and endless embrace. Please help us. Help us, please. Please, my son. Save my grandchild for me, please. How long has she been like this? Five months. Four market weeks. Before death finally hangs his cloth on your doorframe. The ghost forbid. What do we do? We save her life. Thank you. 
Whilst I stayed with Ugoma for months, my father's illness became worse. I couldn't abandon Ugoma's treatment, so I lost my father and gained love, or so I thought. Thank you very much. May the gods bless you. What do we owe you? We'll give you anything that you want. Anything. Just name it. Ugoma was promised to me. I loved her with my soul, for my heart was mine no more. What do you want? I have not come to fight you. So what have you come to do? Kill me? In death, the termite knows not the difference between the prince and the pauper. I am not a killer. I am a reasonable person. I have come to reason with you, man to man. Reason? You call beating me and my chi to the gates of the afterlife being reasonable? What is done in anger? It's mostly regretted. I know. The Osu says his confidence stems from his bond with the deities he has been dedicated to. Leave me be. I have made peace with my chi. Ibuka, please listen to him, please. I know we wronged you, and I for one have wronged you the most. But please, for the sake of the love you have for me, don't you dare! Don't you dare mock the son of Abarakwe! You hurt me and turn around and ask that I thank you? How much do you want? And what am I selling? I will give you a car. And enough money for siblings for two seasons. I will make you a rich man. And I will make you a curse for as long as you live. You will not get this offer once I leave this land. Thank you, Chi, that you will live here breathing. Chi Ukuma. Chi Ukuma. I will give you seven days to return what is mine. Or, or what? You're a worse fool than I thought. The little gouts of herbs your father left for you gives you false hope of invisibility. No man 
holds the key to immortality. Beware. You will beg me. When the vultures gather for their fists, you will beg me. Ha! Beg poverty to unchain you before you exchange words with a freeborn. Ah! Ah! Abarakwe! Abarakwe! Mock not the deity of the earth, for in her bosom will your last sleep be. Mary, you are my seed, blood of my blood, my first child, and him, my first son. From my late wife. She died a few minutes after delivering him, so I was left with him. My son, this is your sister, Mary. Father, after that day, what happened? What happened is what led Mary back to me. Chukuma, seek not what will eat your head. My forefathers were warriors when yours were their slaves. Words spoken to a deaf deity are words spoken in vain. Leave now before your blood pays supplication to Abaranta. You do not scare me. I have come to warn you to keep far away from my wife. Anything stolen will never give you peace of mind. You run so willingly to death. And I have brought into your house today. Da! You lie. You lie. Hey, I don't you don't Is that it? The son of Osu Zodji never fails! <laughs> Fool! <laughs> What should we do to him now? Take his eyes. They are the windows to the soul. Without them, you are safe. Bastards. They have to die a thousand deaths. I don't understand. Why would anyone do something like that? Insecurity. I suffered the pain of it. I was left to die. 
I cried and screamed for help. Then my help came. Mm. You are the son of Agbarakwe, offspring of Ngurogu Agwagu, bred by the gods. Your chi will guide you. Your late father saw beyond closing his eyes. Use it. Attain your father's position and you shall be well. Calamity and destruction will befall those that did this. They will never know peace. Their offspring shall suffer a worse fate. Yes. 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 To, to the sixth generation. generation. Your parents will be their tears. They will die a mysterious death. They will decay and rot without anyone burying them. Whoever dares to bury their corpse will share in their cause. So you see, Shima's family became cursed. And Ugoma too. So you share the cause, Mary. So did your husband. That caused his sudden death and betrayal from his mother. She is a witch. I'm finished! I am finished! I am cursed! There's no point for me to leave because I'm already cursed! I am cursed! Oh God! Father, does that mean Don Boy is carry will share in the cost too? Yes. If car is not taken, she will die giving birth. But Mary, you are my blood. I will not let you perish because of the sin of your mother. I will do everything to redeem you from the curse so that you will become free again. 
I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please. Hey, Timothy. Timothy! Please, oh. Can I please some palm oil? Woo! Mama! Mama, I want you not to come downstairs. Always stay in your room. Look at how this whole place is smelling. Why are you to answer me? Eh? Eh? Mama, listen. I can't continue to nurse you. Mama, you're, you're smelling. You're decaying. I think you should go to the mortuary and deposit yourself. So, so I won't have to worry myself taking you there when you die. How can you say that to your mother? Oh, Mama, stop talking. Stop talking. Mama, listen, you disgust me. Mama, look at how maggots crawl out of your body when you're not even dead. Mama, listen, the best thing is to take my poison and die. Hey, you're very stupid. You sort of a good. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. I, I don't want to get infected. Hey, hey. Oh. Hey! This one is very painful. What? My stomach. What's, what's wrong with your stomach? It's very painful. Hey, Tim. Hey. Close your, close your, this one's going to be very big. What is it? No! No! Mama, no! Mama, what have you been eating? Dead rats or something? Why did you get your stomach rot? Even the bank sisters have forsaken me. They have forsaken me. They have abandoned me. They will. But he himself is not making any efforts. He's making matters worse. Hey, hey, oh. What did I do? Why did they lead up to me? I lay down to my oh, oh Father, my sister was going into labor. I know. I know. What do I do? Go and call the midwives to assist her to deliver her baby. Father, the process you used on Mary, the ritual, if I'm not wrong, requires life for life. I, I hope you haven't done what I'm thinking, Father. You are my son. You have my wisdom. There is one thing I must pass on to you. Give me your head. I don't understand, Father. Put my hand on your chest. Your sister needs you. Father. Go and save her life. Ah! 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 
So too, or I guess it was meant to be. They couldn't have even if you wanted to. It would delay your pains and leave you. He had to go. Mary, do you know what this means? No. I don't have an idea. He laid his life down for you. For your child to be born. Father laid his life for me. Yes, just as his father did. I never knew it would come to this. I never knew it would come to this. I should have just stayed back. No. Don't blame yourself. It's over now. Mary, you and your child must return to your husband's people before sunset tomorrow. My father is yet to be buried. We will bury him together when you return. In that case, I will name my son after him. I will call him Ebuka. I'm sure he will be happy in the afterlife. Sister, you didn't tell us about your sickness. You had sores all over your body. Oh, Uncle, Uncle, this is not the reason why we're here. Huh? Listen, I need you to ask this girl what she's doing in this house. Why is she not in the forest where she belongs? Timothy. Yes, I am back with my child. Both mother and child are very safe and healthy. So maybe you had the guts to come back into this house after everything you did. Why shouldn't I? I have proven my innocence. I did not kill my husband. You think you have won? <laughs> Mama, have you not learnt enough lessons? You attacked me in your dark room, deep in the forest, and got shot by the arms of the gods. Yet you're still here, even in your condition, bragging and planning on going on another attack. I advise you, woman, in your own interest, it is time to stop. Oh, so, Mary, you have returned? Yes, I have. And with your child? Yes, I have. I went in and I came out unharmed. That has proven my innocence, hasn't it? Yes, it does, Lou. Listen, what, what nonsense are you people talking about? This woman here killed my brother. It is obvious to everybody. Why you act like you don't know anymore? But she has performed the rituals and came back alive with her child. So you can't accuse her any further. Yes. She did not kill her husband, your brother. Hmm. So if she did not kill my brother, who killed my brother? I will give you answers to that. Who are you? I am Anukaya Idu, son of Ebuka the Great, the eye that sees it all. My elders are good to you. Now, listen, whoever you are, who invited you here? If you don't get out of this place, I'm going to push you out myself. A child you are, and you have come here with my sister Mary to give you answers to the unsolved mysteries here. 
you'll find no one else other than Tony's mother. At the root of her son's death, she killed her son. In your world, you shall confess. I killed him! Hey! 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 What can you do? What can you do about that? Yes. I killed him. I killed him. Yes, I killed him. He was becoming. Very rigid with his belly. I have to kill him up so I can take everything. But he went, he swapped it to his wife and child. Leaving nothing, not even a die. So my Timothy and I. I am a witch! Mama, do you know the gravity of what you're confessing to? Of course not. Yes. Uh, 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 was it not because of you? I did everything. Uh, only now, I regret my whole actions. You're a very greedy and ungrateful child. Uh, uh, I should have killed you instead of done me. Uh, uh, I love you. Uh, uh, I am. I'm a Makana <laughs>